sub baby. Welcome back, Matt. Welcome back.
Chatto, it's Thursday, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of Malta, I got rep roll, but I'm back for the second leg. You can't keep me down. Unlike Hammerin, Three, who emphatically four, four, can four, keep four, down four, their four, shit, four, four, we're playing quite four, shit four, in the Champions League as well, but we down. aim to get better today as we have a few winnable six matches in there as well. Six in other news, we continue our quest to sign the best players six in the world and not get sabotaged. All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of fucking Malta. He can't speak, but it doesn't matter. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, honestly, not really, Galaxo, I'm not, but we move, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Apologies, especially to the bodies today. I do apologize. He's alive. Oh. He's alive, chat. He is. Although I think I speak for most of chat when I say, a stream with you not talking wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world, Kappa, but glad to see you back, sir. Who was I can that? remember anything of where we are in the save. Thank God you and Dro was no doubt informative and impeccable. Oh yeah, no also, doubt. Also, I'm expecting well, not me. My wife is expecting our second child in October. Uh, Send oh. help. Wait, that's amazing. That's amazing. Sorry, in, in amongst all that, amazing news. Welcome Seriously, back, Scott, Matt. That's awesome. Hope Thank you, you so are much. Feeling better. Oh, um, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there, I suppose. What are we, Scarlet as well? Thank you, Galazzo. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. A uh, whopping bloke, thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Lord Richard. Thank you, Jim. Okay, thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Eclay. Not bad. I couldn't Holy Christ. watch Thursday's stream cause of work and Sunday because I wasn't able to. Luckily, there was also, one. what happened on Tuesday? Did you watch the Grand National on Saturday? I picked the winning horse and won £26. Pounds. Nice. How is Roy Flair? This is where you bet like 28. <laughs> you actually made a loss on it. Holy shit. Um, well, there wasn't a stream on Sunday or Tuesday, so you've missed nothing. Good morning, uh, So there Matty we go. Aiden, thank First you for the 30 months. First live in a while. Just wanted to say thank oh. you for 30 months of top tier content. Also can't believe you actually gave Barry Scott a game. Hope you are feeling Had better, be mate, by the way. Bazza needed it. He did. Right. We're all caught up there as well now. Let me just get that song request sorted. Uh, yeah, so as you could probably tell, I don't sound great because uh, I'm not, but I can speak. And that was the real problem. <laughs> Basically, I could not speak to save my life. I've got my, my trusty Corvone here as well, just in case. Oh, that was ridiculous. Alan Saint Minimum, thank you very much for the 40 months. 40 months? 14 months. Apparently, I've also got an eye infection that affects that too. But a Corvonia, yeah, cough syrup with clout or something. I think that's what it was, wasn't it? Oh, Christ. Well, hopefully all things um, go to plan, Scott, this year. That, that's fantastic. Uh, no, Pog is not around, unfortunately. Pog is at work. Um, yeah, that was crazy. Like, well, Ninja Chicken as well with the 11 months. Thank you very much, my friend. <sighs> I hope you're feeling better. I've been under the weather as well. Nearly a year now. <laughs> Medicine cap crackle. <laughs> Luckily, it's got a little tube. What? It's a little squirty boy. It's good. No, like seriously, after the stream on Thursday, I'm basically, I'm fairly certain I picked something up when I went to the O2 on last Wednesday. That seems to be the most logical explanation for it. But like, even after stream on Thursday, I felt quite run down, but I thought, oh, well, you're probably just tired because day before or whatever, right? It's, it's one of those things. Wondery Skylight, thank you very much for the 100 bits as well. My lord. Also, <laughs> a flag to true praise the Maltese cow. Oh. Don't deep throat the spray, you naughty boy. But that's how you're supposed to take it. Legitimately, that's how you're supposed to uh, ingest it. You have to stick the thing right to the back of your throat. Otherwise, it just goes inside your mouth. Obviously. <laughs> as if it wouldn't. And then Friday, I was like, oh, okay, I feel a bit weird, but I'm all right. And um, so I made the thumbnail and stuff and just kind of took it easy because I was feeling a bit rough. And then my sister came over on Friday evening and I was talking to her and all of a sudden I could just feel like, you know, when you get a sore throat and it sort of comes on slowly, this came on over the course of like an hour. It was, I went from being like completely normal to, oh my God, it's daggers, mate. And by Friday evening, like later Friday evening, it was the worst sore throat I'd had since I had glandular fever in like 2010. I I've... You know, like, you get a little bit of a sort. This was like a, oh, even, like, not... Even breathing hurts because air is passing down my throat or whatever. It was nasty as all fuck. Um, but I didn't actually feel too bad. Just 
felt like shit in terms of that one particular area of my throat. So I thought, oh, okay, whatever. Went for a family meal on Saturday, feeling okay. Like swallow, literally like swallowing razor blades. Yeah, like breathing razor blades, which is normally I could, when I get a sore throat, it's like, it's okay as long as you don't swallow too much. Then you're okay. COVID too well. I mean, maybe I did have COVID. I don't know. Maybe I do. I, I honestly don't know. Uh, Silent Killer, thank you very much for the five months. Feels like longer uh, glad you're feeling better. Well, I mean, we, this is the weird thing, right? I feel worse now than I did on Friday. I just don't sound as bad because my throat's not as sore. <laughs> pretty much and then all of a sudden i just got hit with like these vicious sort of cold and flu like symptoms so like insane congestion in the nose just you know general swelling and it was oh it was nasty as fuck man i'm in my comfort shirt which arrived on friday uh, i'm literally i'm wearing tracksuit bombs I i'm going full relaxy mode today the idea of going back to bed after stream <laughs> it's okay as long as you don't swallow so much. that's what i tell them that's what i tell them yeah as long as you avoid breathing you'll be absolutely fine Oh, it was just, it was just kind of nasty. And um, so I, I apologize to the bodies today because I realized without the music, you might hear me like clearing my throat and sniffing occasionally. I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum, but I hope you can understand that that's something that's uh, going to happen. So, oh yeah, like a normal person. Of course I do. But you know, I didn't want to put that image in your head, triple eight, nine, you know, tracksuit. I am a tracksuit manager today. Yeah. Uh, of a hockey team, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, I don't know what it is. It's just, I, I don't go out very often as you know. Um, but yeah, it must be like I got the. Uh, it's, we're doing casual Thursdays, precisely. So I'm going to try to stay more hydrated than normal. Because one of the other things is because my throat was so sore, it made it really, like, you know, difficult to drink. Don't need to know. That's just true. Um, Roman Bender's doing just fine. Roman Bender? Jared Bender. Roman Bender. I think he used to play. He was a footballer, wasn't he? So he did. Mr. Zimmer. He came out on his guitar and he just went like this. Infected me all. Ah, I look forward to it here much. Let's get off of my big face. The last thing we need to see is more of me. Oh, dear. So, um, to catch you up, well, this is the thing. There's not even a lot to catch you up on. I, I do, Triple Eight Nine. Is that going to get you there? Mm. A mod view for moment. Yeah, Pog was saying that, which is kind of sick. It's weird that they didn't have that before, honestly. Oh, coffee will help. That will help my energies and whatnot. Players under 18. Uh, yeah, I, I loan out players. Well, hang on. It will depend on the league you're in, Nicholas, because there are certain rules that will depend, I think, on the country you're managing in. Uh, so we do, yes. Um, I believe it's 17 in Malta. And like, with the not even with the pro contract, I think it's 17 you have to be in Malta to go out on loan. So I'll loan out a player as soon as they're ready. And when I say ready, I mean old enough to go out on loan, pretty much. I don't have any like um, rules on that, per se. I'd loan them out the moment they gend, if I could. Like, they come to the youth intake at like seven, and I'm like, out on loan to you. They're like, but I live with my parents. Like, I don't care. Out you go. They'll drive you. Ah, uh, non uniform. <laughs> yeah, we're going. It's Mufti Day chat. Playing well. Uh, not at the moment, we're not. Not at the moment, we're not. One of the benefits of the weekend was that I was able to watch both of the Avs games that were on on Saturday and Sunday. And I fucking wish I didn't. 7 0 hammering at the hands of Winnipeg. That, that cost us a chance at home ice advantage for the playoffs. And then threw away a pissing three goal lead against Vegas as well in the Sunday game. I was like had enough of it <laughs> just yeah it's not really the two game losing streak it was that too obviously he's not even really a streak it's just the general crappy we've played badly against everyone that we need to be playing well against like yeah we beat minnesota but we also lost to dallas and we lost to the habs it's like yeah try at least i was a bit gutted that matthews didn't get the, the 70th goal last night but at least he stays on 69 nice i actually had a bet on that game uh, which involved matthews at least getting a point everything else in that game came in except that because i had like kucherov to get two points shocker <laughs> um i had matthews on shots as well yeah the thing is well particularly is now vegas i'm gonna have all of those players that are conveniently no longer injured back again didn't notice but yeah vita has been Maltese for ages he's actually he's racked up less caps than i would have thought he would have been wage structure i was just wait hang on i'll check the wage structure in a sec because it's i'd say it's fairly competent more competent i would argue actually than the one we had at mtk though that could just be because our wages in general are lower oh uh not really chaser but we're getting there i can speak which is the main thing sort of <laughs> sort of values are now dead oh jesus that's weird like it's there's so many little things that seem to affect the loans in fm um because Hadrian did some more tests as well. And I can't even remember the exact the exact results of them. But there just seems to be... Like basically, he found a way to snowball things uh, to an insane level. It really does seem to be that it matters hugely what... This is something... Actually, to circle it back, what I want to try and do at some point 
is maybe get another affiliate club that's not Pembroke, so they're a bit better than that. A good second tier team. Like, maybe get a team that gets relegated from the top flight and try to stack them out with loans using the affiliate loan method instead. Because if you keep offering them, it feels like they do start to slowly take them. And then the more of them you get, the more players are likely to go. It's sort of like a snowball effect kind of situation. With the Ducks? Wait. The Ducks? Surely the Ducks were Pacific Division leaders, right? Or is it just a really, really weak division? I guess San Jose would be in that division as well, wouldn't they? Oh, and they are bobbins. I think they got hit for nine by Edmonton the other day. Who came down? Yeah, I mean, I think that sentiment is not unusual. It seems that there's more sentiment for, like, waiting for FM25 now at such an early sort of... Well, I say early. It's been out six months. Part of the cycle than perhaps there was last year. And I wonder if that's just because... With them announcing... Uh, let's have a look. Wage... There should be one that's literally like wage structure, but this kind of is that, isn't it, really, I suppose? Yeah, you cheeky bastard. Thank you very much for the 24 months. A double year. You love to see it. How are you, man? There's like, we're poor and you get 10% of the... Yeah, it's great when they do the old, um, oh, we've spent loads of your money, but now we're going to make sure that we recoup that money that we've spent from you. It's like, cheers, lads. Well done. Oh, dear. Last week, yeah, but on the plus side, you might get Macklin Celebrini, which is something, right? Most normal time Why not, right? It's a single player game. At you least you're not the Arizona Coyotes, or should I say the Salt Lake City Coyotes? <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Wonder Scholar. I saw a thing that was like, they should call the new team the Salt Lake City Arizona Coyotes, <laughs> which is the dumbest thing ever, but I kind of like it. Oh, well, Ducks were very good for quite a while. PC broke. Oh, shit. Did, what, what specifically happened, or did you not know? The sleep was, well, this is the thing. I only watch the Avs games when they start at, like, reasonable times. So when it's a matinee game on a weekend, basically. But that's why I was able to watch two games over the weekend. Get better slowly, man. Oh, yeah. I think I'll be... Oh, oh power supply. Was this, like, a PC PC? So it's, like, a whole new PSU kind of situation, which I realise could be a bit of a bug to actually sort out. Apathetic at this point. You get Celebrini. Any Brits in the Um, I think there is a guy that's that was, like, born in Britain, but not really... I swear there was... Was it a guy called Liam something or other that was drafted or something? I can't remember his name. Hockey in the UK is growing, though, which is something. So maybe, you know, you know 15 years' time, maybe we'll have some players there. Who knows? Oh, dear. Do you want to fall? Fucking hell, that's impressive. It's less challenging, but I bet you it still has the same top-end challenge. <laughs> Climbing that extra... This is the thing. The progress slows down so much when you get to that point. No games already. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, I watch the highlights every time, of course, but like... No stop. Yeah, this is the great thing. We've really done a brilliant job at regulating our top earners. So we have no star players anymore. Only one guy considered an important player. And then the rest are all the key... The guys that you would consider like our key players and starters are all regular starter and squad players. It's... It's amazing. Um, so the transfer... No, no, this is October now. Liam Kirk, that's the one. No play for Berlin. Ah, oh, fair one. Game Importer. Um, sorry, Game Importance. I believe so. Um, oh, actually, no, to be fair, Game Importance, I believe, is more to do with national team stuff, right? Yeah, a lot of backups. In fairness, some of those guys are going to be um, load farm guys. So when I do the load farm extensions, I which I've been doing today. As you notice, when we actually progress a little bit, you'll suddenly see loads of contract extensions go through. Again, I'm still working on those. So a lot of some of those guys demand backup status. Well, not backup status. Uh, emergency backup. Yeah, that's the contract they often demand. But if you look, 73 grand a week for 78 players is not bad. In addition, 23 grand a week for 84 players. <laughs> Our wages are fully under control. You can take quite a bit. Um... I don't know if that's true. But again, I, I don't know. I haven't done this. It feels like one of these situations where once again, we just have to wait for Max to do a video on it so we can see if it's true or not, basically. With anything like that, I'm just like, I will wait until the next EBFM video and I'm no doubt he will cover it. Except of course he won't because he's obviously doing the training stuff at the moment. Hello, Tony, Matty Tony. and Chato. Glad you are feeling better. Three years. Holy. Keep doing you. That's why we are all here. I will keep doing me. I'll try to keep doing me. Oh dear. Soul important player. I actually don't know. Uh, let's have a look. We could find out. <laughs> I think it might be Palacio, you know. Which, if anyone's going to be the sole important player, it probably should be him, really, shouldn't it? Let me have a look. Uh... Yeah, 
It is Julian Palacio. Of course it is. Casper, thank you for the 20 months. What's his YouTube again? Uh, if it's exclamation mark max or exclamation mark EBFM, I swear we actually had a command for it. I could have sworn like about 10 days ago, I was banging on about Max again. And there we go. <laughs> I knew, I think it was Vaughn made one for us. Ah, oh dear. The real Super Max is a Verstappen. That's where he comes in. He's like, Matt, my name's actually uh, Marx. So like, like, get it right, Jesus. Thomas with the tier one. You'd love to see it, my friend. Thank you, Thomas. How's it going, man? Uh, Malta. There was no Malta. There was no F1 this last weekend. It's Chinese Grand Prix this weekend, doesn't it? No, I need a Brazilian Fury. Come on. Oh, he pops in one more time and I might have to do it. It won't even link to his channel. It'll just link to that specific video that I absolutely adore. Yeah, Palacio's bloody good, isn't he? Like, he's just so fucking good. I, I'll be sad the day that he leaves. He actually, for me, feels like the most Miggy Montiel type of player from the early stages. Although... I, I love having Uriah Lahovi at the club now. It makes my life so much easier knowing that the, he, the more I look at him, the better he looks. Like, every time I see him, uh, it's annoying that the game considers him a winger, so it shows the wrong players here, but like, he's actually very fucking good, isn't he? Stupidly short. Is it really? What is the sort of uh, schedule like then? Because I, I assume it's going to be out of time I can't watch anyway, so it will still be the streak continues of me not watching F1 this year. That's how, that's an interesting point. Um, the fact is, we all know what would have most likely happened if he played an actual game. No, because they don't have a PC version. So that's basically, yeah. If they bring it back to PC, I'd be all over it. It's what got me into hockey in the first place. Like, I discovered hockey at probably the worst possible time to discover hockey. First, it was dead puck, dead puck era. Then it was also the lockout that time as well. So it was just like, hey, I'm interested in this new sport. Be really cool if I could watch it sometimes. Um, right. Obviously, we'll rotate the squad around for this. Hopefully, we've got some players. Um, now, I'm a little bit out of the loop myself on some of our injuries, but I think we're going to be okay. But I know we do have a couple of them, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, now, I know my assistant doesn't like Co. But it's okay. No, but I really want to go to an EIHL game. Uh, or ideally, an, an NHL Europe game at some point. Be awesome if the Avs were there. Oh. Yeah, no, I've heard, well, it's an EA game, and it's bound to be shit, um, <laughs> generally speaking. But those ones back in the day were quality. Right. Um, Espido, Kadri, Paez. That's fine. Ooh. I'll just get rid of the uh, not a club because I was I was doing some more loan extension contracts earlier. Not sorry. Some extension contracts for the loanees. The question that becomes... Uh, right. So we've got... Uh, Melbourne, but Melbourne would be kind of decided it wasn't going to start. Oh, yeah, it would be that way around though, wouldn't it? The problem is... We've got that injury to Perez. And that that's the problem. It's because Perez is injured. And it's getting there, uh, Primcio. It, it's slowly but surely, right? Up to speed. Well, I was thinking I'd probably just go to the closest one, which I think is Guildford, because it's one of the few southern clubs, because most of them are either north, and obviously there's Fife as well in Scotland, and Glasgow as well, I think, maybe? Or is it Belfast? This one in, is the one in Northern Ireland? I can't remember. Either way, there are not very many down south. I think the only, like, southerny one is Guildford, which is still fucking miles away. In terms of EIHL, anyway, I know there's other clubs. Clubs? It feels weird saying that about hockey. Um, right. Oxford City Stars. They're not EIHL, though, are they? And I think that's actually further away than Guildford. From me, it is, anyway. Uh, right. Okay, yeah, that's going to have to do. I don't know how much trust I place in Henry, but what I will say is he does have eight goals this season. Peterborough would be closer, yeah. <clears throat> Play Ali Pally, really? They don't Peter Check. Did they really? I swear Peter Check played for someone else. What is it with Guildford and like these sports? Is it just because they have the arenas or something? Right. Um that'll have to do. I'm feeling Belfast. Yeah, I thought you played for Belfast. I mean it was only one game, wasn't it? It was like a I definitely remember reading something about that though. Oh, but now plays for Belfast. Oh, fair enough. Five Glasgow, Dundee, Belfast, Cardiff, Sheffield, Nottingham, Guildford, Manchester. Yeah, it's, it's very sort of Midlands up and then just Guildford. ex was a Sheffield record. <laughs> ex <-ferno. laughs> Oh, dear. To be fair, Con, man, I've only been to Guildford once in my entire life. I went on a date in Guildford once in like 15 years ago and turned out the girl had a boyfriend. 
and she was just using me to make him jealous. I don't know why he would need to do that, but you know, such is life. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun experience. Drove to fucking Guildford. The worst thing about it as well, right? is it was during the 2010 World Cup and I got stuck in traffic on the way back from this date, meaning that I missed the first half of the England-USA game and had to listen to it on the fucking radio. <laughs> Gamer move! <laughs> oh, God, stop it. Oh, you're going to infect me again. Right, I'm going to put a game on so we can actually, like, talk. Uh, we're going to get destroyed here, aren't we? Now, we've got all three of our first... Like, we have four Champions League games that are insanely tough and four that are, like, winnable and easy. And three of them, in a row, at the start, are all not easy. Uh, so we press on and hope for the best. Bless you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, totally a blessing. Um, at the time, I didn't see it like that. I was just, like, <laughs> literally, like, really? My boyfriend now, bitch. <laughs> oh, that would have been the ultimate gamer move. Yeah, I, I seduced him instead. Not that I ever met him. Obviously, that would be weird. She still has a hoodie of mine as well. Because <laughs> I was a gentleman, damn it. I ran an F24 point. Yeah, I know. England are determined not to get that fifth Champions League spot, aren't they? They're just like, no, no. Spurs will not have Champions League. That would be... I have nothing against Spurs. That would be fucking hilarious, though. I realise that's probably not going to matter, but it would be funny if England missed out on that fifth Champions League spot because of the coefficient thing, and that cost Spurs Champions League football, even though they had no control over it. It would be Arsenal's last revenge. Oh, dear. I don't know. What, what is the, like, current score with that at the moment? Like, is England in the top two? I assume they probably are, just because we still have so many teams left in Europe. But I imagine it must be getting a little bit closer now that, well, we just lost all the English teams in the Champions League, right? Because it's... Dortmund versus PSG, and then England not in the top two. Wow, okay. Germany have it now. Of course they fucking do with Dortmund going through, Bayern going through, and obviously Leverkusen smashing it. Is there a German club in any of the others? Like a Conference League German side. Who was the German's Conference League candidate? Yeah, Liverpool. Basically, it's Liverpool and Villa. They've got to carry the flag now. Germany was definitely... That would be funny. Yeah, who's, who was the German um, representative in the Conference League? It feels like it would be someone like a Gladbach. I don't, I don't know why I think that, but I don't think that's true. Fre oh, was it Freiburg? Oh, of course it was, yes. Literally, West Bam? West Bam? West Ham knocked them out. Damn, that's a long-ass throw. Oh, my God. We are cutting it fine. And Liverpool are 3-0 down. Yeah, I would be... I For some reason, I still think Liverpool go through. It's probably the weirdest thing, but they have a habit of just doing that. To be fair, English clubs did dominate Europe for, a, oh my lord, for a while. Oh, you're right, yeah. Freiburg was Europa League, wasn't it? Because it was West Ham, yeah. Sorry, my brain considered West Ham to be Europa Conference League just because of their dominance last year. Frankfurt, right, yes. They lost to Union de saint Jesus. Scrap for the first round. That's kind of shit, actually. Um, just got to really make sure that we stick the boot in on the uh, smaller clubs there because i just feel like smaller clubs just get too much money from the fa cup i think what we need to do is really ensure that smaller teams don't get anything from it and i think that makes football better overall i think you'd all agree um oh dear actually i could see liverpool like um going five nil up or something against atalanta then conceding two late goals and going out on penalties or something you know <laughs> uh oh Oh, come on, man. Right. Uh, I suppose we are playing in the Champions League, right? I think you're right, Jinx. Not just not professional. I think any team outside of the Big Six should be immediately removed from the league. I think that would make football better in general. And just have the same six sides play each other. How many times? At least 10 times a season, right? 60 game league. Five at home, five away. What's not to like? Oh, dear. <laughs> me want caravel, me drink caravel. Yes, now we're talking. Oh, God. Draw the replay. Football is gone. I, I guess, but like, I feel like that's a pretty rare scenario. Most of the time, the scenario is just that most of the time, these teams are not going to beat the big sides. So having a reward for at least getting that, because the thing is, I feel like getting a draw against them at some point is a good thing, and the reward for that was the replay, I suppose, right? 
Playing your B team. 50k. Oh, no, no. We'll drive him into the ground, damn it. We're going to ex... We're going to get all the blood out of that stone. Don't... Just you wait. I was thinking 60 games, though, Thomas. What, what are we saying? Meet me halfway? 56 games? They can have, like, a... Maybe they can play a couple of games in, like, Saudi. Maybe, maybe they can play all of them there. How about that? Just an idea, though. Just floating it out there. Obvious top five of the top five for this year. Name the next three. Uh... As in... Hang on. You mean, like, if I was picking, like, a top eight? So... All right. Then the next three. So, wait, what? Friday to Wednesday? I think they should play it every day. I don't think there should be a single second that football is not on. Are we coefficients? Oh, oh, okay. So, obvious top five, top five. Okay. I feel like Turkey is up there. Maybe. And I think Belgium might be fairly high. Although, maybe I'm just getting Union saint Loire pilled on that one. I'm not sure. Turkey at eight. Okay, cool. Mm. So I'm looking for number seven, basically. Scotland? No, it can't be Scotland. Scotland have kind of eaten shit this year as far as coefficients go, haven't they? I remember seeing a thing of how they've dropped out of the top ten or something. Uh, we've not even been that bad in this game. That's the most annoying thing. Three teams in the next round. Yeah, I mean, England, unless Liverpool turn it around and then... West Ham pull off the miracle of all miracles. It's Portugal would make sense, right? Is it Czech Republic? I'm not liking these United long throws, by the way. Um, I feel like every time we see one, we're about to concede off of it. It is the Czechs. Nice. It's weird because, like, without sounding like Nikki Graham, who is she? Like, oh, for goodness sake. I'm trying to think of like a standout. Have they just been really consistent this season? Just like, not like any standouts, but like proper consistent, all getting through to things, all getting lots of points in the groups, but then maybe not going as deep. Which I think also sort of shows the point I was on about before of like how you'd actually have to win things all the time. A Pilsner's still in it. Ah, fair one then. Uh, we're a bit unfortunate to be two goals down here. It is a bit shocking that yet again, we failed to create anything in these games at home though. Um... Greece 11th. I guess that makes sense. Uh, Plasio's been shocking as well. Doesn't help that our form has kind of... Uh, Quasi's been poor. Might have to be Melbourne. Maybe even Roy. No, sorry. Satello. Like, Roy's great and all, but I've got to draw the line somewhere here. Are we just going to lose every game 2-0? We've yet to score a goal in the Champions League group stage. We're actually, I think, probably bottom of it. Nearly bottom of it. Last place. Is it Wales? I feel like Wales are underrated bad as far as coefficient goes. It's Estonia. Wow, maybe I should have done them last this year instead. Uh, what are Salzburg up to? I feel like I haven't heard from them as much lately. Right, now what are you doing? You've got to go left side here. Here we go. Just get a goal back. Score a goal in Europe, please. It's three matches in and we've not scored a single goal. Here we go. Bit of space. Finally. Right. Round the side. There we go. Vida's the man to bail us out. How? Just to cl I know that I'm a bit out of date on this, but I feel like Vida has scored more goals in the Champions League this season than any other one of our players. Uh, that's his fifth. All of these goals that he's scored have been in the Champions League. And he's got five already this season, all in Europe. Fifth bottom. Well, that's actually not a bad season. Like, they are... You wouldn't expect them to be as low down as they are. Um... Like, when I look at Wales, I think, oh, they should be around the sort of same level as Northern Ireland, but they are emphatically not. Um, I wonder why... Is that just because of infrastructure? Serbia's behind Malta. What the hell have Red Star and Partizan been up to this season? I I'm guessing nothing. Andorra are ahead. What, did, like, Santa Coloma have, like, an unbelievable result or something? We've scored our only shot on target. Uh, we've just not been very good in this game. It's like, do you think they've adjusted to our tactics again? Do you think our reputation's bumped just ever so slightly enough that all of a sudden we're being crap again? Because uh, this has not been ideal. We really do have to win that next match because that's now three straight defeats. At least we scored a goal. But all of a sudden, 14? That's actually Wales. Well, <laughs> absolutely Wales. Figures you out. They did. They figured me out. I am extremely predictable in fairness. I can understand why. 
Oh, you're right, they did, didn't they? Wait, was that this season? Christ, time, time's a bit, time's a bit mad, yo. <laughs> like, um, right, well, that was shit. <sighs> we just look kind of off. I just wonder if the lack of Perez is the key. He was just so prolific for us. And now that he's got that injury, then again, we are playing Man United, I suppose. And they are, they are three out of three. But these are the sort of games that last year we were actually like getting something from. But it might have been a bit of luck last time around, combined with just us being a bit shit. They knocked out, wow. That must be big news for, for Andorra in general. Yeah, the fact that we're bottom. Well, not bottom. We're, we're essentially bottom. Uh, although, not quite as bad as Red Bull Salzburg as it goes. Also, who the hell is Costas Ilya? And hello, friend. Bro's got some goals. Poland have... I don't know if it's zero restrictions. It's been a while since I've managed there, so I'd, I would have... Oh no, I'd need, like, confirmation of that. It's pretty unrestricted, though, in Poland. I believe there's a rule that you get, like, money or something if you play a certain number of domestic talents, but I forget. Um, Hungary is obviously great because there are literally no rules, well, except for that one random rule that we still don't really know what it does, but we never fell foul of it. Uh, Hammerin are playing against Applewell. Sh Hammerin really have let us down so deeply in Europe this season as far as getting in the Europa League for the first thing and then how they played against Dino they're going to lose this <laughs> hello Daza I'm, I'm getting there slowly but surely bloody hell <laughs> there'll be more of these bit of harbour view what are we saying uh, they've got a Roy that's all I could say about them but they do have a Roy wait did I just, there we go wrong one number of minutes of home play. barely anything wouldn't it be funny if it scaled? It'd be like the one thing. Yeah, only Hammerin went through. And not only did only Hammerin went through, but they went through into the Europa League and not the Conference League. Which obviously means much tougher draws. And even the easier matches they've been struggling in. They lost 4-0 at home to Dinamo Batumi of Georgia. I, it, it's it's like the game's like, oh, they're in a slightly higher competition. Let's make a team beat you easily that you would have comfortably beat if this was a Conference League game. Such is life. Yeah, one all draw against Applewell, and that guy actually scored. Um, in its points, I guess. Yeah, you didn't use a single homegrown player. Your fine is eight hundred million pounds. Good luck, everyone. Uh speaking of good luck, everyone, we've not got a lot of points this year either. Oh, this was a hump I was not expecting to uh, be quite as difficult for this. Itchy nose. Oh my god, there is one, and it is. Yeah, no, he is a regen. Katsuhiro Ichiro's. Real peaks and troughs between seasons. Um, I think it's just because it's inconsistency, right? It's because the draws at the moment that we're getting for a lot of the other Maltese sides are extremely inconsistent, but also generally lean towards being incredibly difficult for them, right? Konhau, thank you very much for the five months. How's it going? Oh, he must be a face in the game then. Which makes me wonder if he's... Yeah. Uh, well, let's find out. If he's got the exact same name, then he has to be a face in the game. And it also makes me wonder if someone's taking the piss a little bit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right, let's find it Japanese. There can't be that many Japanese face in the game. So there might be more soon. Uh, Christ, there's a... How does England never get a national team that isn't just full of... Face in the game players? Because... Look, Sheffield United's youth intake here. <laughs> Sheffield United, in a single youth intake, have had four face of the game players, and there's another one here. What is with. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Any more while we're at it? That is utterly absurd. Imagine doing a Sheffield United save, and every youth intake is just the same five blokes every time. That's just so many. Yeah. Right, Japan. Uh, where are, where are we at? Ah, here we go. Yeah, there he is. Johnny Badini. Ah, yes. Uh, Johnny Badini is indeed uh, a face of the game, which is hilarious because he is apparently, according to uh, Hadrian, the best player in this save currently. How convenient. <laughs> Wait, was Kieran Griffiths in there? Oh, what a guy. 3,000 minutes. I feel like there's a way that Hadrian and I could actually implement that in the editor. Because that has to be in there somewhere, right? That might actually be doable. Oh, dear. Meaning of the phrase. Oh, 
uh, basically they are like random people either that work with SI or associated with SI of one competition's members of the community. Yeah. Uh, ah, so JCM, uh, who sadly retired, unfortunately, he is actually a face in the game, but he's a Maltese face in the game. So he's one that I created specifically um, using that thing before. Same with people like Paul Raymond and Ron, uh, Ron Atkinson? Rob Atkinson. Uh, so these guys are um, ones that I created, but they still show up as face in the games because they were added in a similar method, I suppose, basically. Um, so we don't know exactly how they generate uh, something less obnoxious because they don't generate the same way as the ones that I did it. Um, so I don't know if they're randomly generated or not. However, they do... The The issue isn't so much that even if they are randomly generated using like the same way that I set mine up, the problem is because they always come through at the same clubs, those clubs tend to have really good academies and stuff, and it means that they're going to be better than they would... Yeah. So for example, right, Mike, our old good buddy Mike, he... Oh, is it Michael Holford? I always get this wrong, don't I? Hello, Matto. Hello. Hope you are well. Andrew? Are we winning? We are not. Uh, we're actually three out of... We're actually 0 and 3 in the Champions League so far this season. Speaking of the Champions League, it's Mike Holford. Uh, our good old buddy Mike, who of course got a face in the game as a result of working for SI. Um, yeah. So he came through at Luton, weirdly. Leeds, Man City, scored against us this season as well, which is great. But yeah, so I don't know exactly, but I've noticed that you often see the same faces popping up at the very top. Although I don't know if that's actually the case. It's more likely just that there's so many of the damn things that it's almost impossible not to have them be at the very top. See, see for example, I Bedini, the guy at Manchester I City, who, as you say, he's in your save. Look at the state of him. It's insane. Daniel Doherty, thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a fantastic morning. Ooh. Right. Uh... Wait. Did I start really? There was a face that... Okay. Here's a fun fact. Voltaire contracted syphilis just two Some blocks from here. Ah, no, unfortunately not. Uh, it might just be that... Uh, have I spelled it wrong? Let me just see if there's any other tarant while I'm at it. Fishy, thank you for the follow. If only I could spell. Apparently I have a spelling infection. Uh, No, wait, what the fuck? I see. Do you think they downloaded the Barcelona badge illegally? The passing's really good because it's all peer to peer. Uh, they use some seed money. That's all my torrent jokes. I've used them all. I love the number of sheer knockoff Barca badges that exist. It's actually crazy. Absolute unit. Oh, there you go. Uh, oh, Pachuca. The rivals are Napster United, <laughs> whose rivals also happen to be Metallica <laughs> and the RIAA. I brought my leeches. Oh dear. Will it have Japanese subtitles? <laughs> it's like a Scandic no noir series, but it's still got those uh, Japanese subs. Right, Pachuca, go on. Oh, wait, that's the only player that we were already interested in. Oh, hang on. Right now, let me see if I can remember this. I swear that I'm literally having flashbacks to the few things I was able to do after stream. There was a guy on my shortlist from like, those players that I thought were kind of good. He. And he came through the report, because obviously I've got it staying keep up to date. And it had like a wage demand for him. And I can't remember who the hell it was. But I signed him up, because he was cheap. And I've now forgotten who it was. Uh, This one. This guy here. It came through and I was like, hang on, he's only 17. So I decided to pick him up. I think he looks pretty solid. Midfielder, 17 years old. I don't know how much I actually paid in the end. We can check the future transfers in a minute. Uh, no, Barry Scott refuses to come on the trial with us at all. Like, he won't even come on trial now, and it's very annoying uh, because, well, he, he's going to he's gonna retire. If I don't do something, he's going to retire. But he won't come on trial, and he won't sign a contract with me because I annoyed him last time by bringing him here and essentially wasting his time, right? Barry's being a bitch, exactly. CF cracks. Is that... Is that they? Queen's Park Cricket... Sir, you're in the wrong... You are very much in the wrong sport, lads. Hang on, you had a red card appealed? And successfully? I think I've had that happen once. In the entirety. They were... Wait. They were actually there? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's because FM didn't like the fact that I didn't have the, uh, the dots. What is this badge? I love these kind of badges. They remind me... everything. Every time I see a badge that looks a bit like this, all I can think of is World Cup 94. 
That's the kind of... Or even Italia 90. That's... Also, Installazione cracks. Uh, probably want to have a word with your contractor about that one. Uh, surprisingly good youth facilities. It's a shame that their youth recruitment is one, so it's utterly pointless. I.e., they've got all the gear and no idea, essentially. You've had it twice? I think it happened on a YouTube series. It might have even been Wimbledon, actually. Um, which particular Casablanca would you like? Um, let's see. The seven clubs. We've got... Okay. Two weirdly in Chile, I suppose. Install cracks. Was it? That's true, yes. And it always had, like, EDM music while it was installing, right? <laughs> Oh, Raja. Okay. Sorry, there's quite a few. I didn't realize how many there were, actually. I want to just quickly look at old Stadium Casablanca with their teeny little badge. Uh, Right, let me go off of that now. Go back to uh, Raja Casablanca. I think I'm already scouting. Wait, am I not? Oh, I am, yeah. Although I might add their first team to it while we're at it, just in case. I don't suppose I've got any... Wait. Wow. Um... I assume he's one of those players that I just like the look of. Am I scouting him currently? Yeah, I am. Okay, that's what. Oh, yeah. No, he's what we found last stream, wasn't he? That would explain it. Oh, is it the same? No, it isn't. It's actually a football club. He could be a 20. He might be. Oh, hang on. Is he? Oh, he might have been. Yeah, I think he might, he might have been a 20-ish penny guy. Because look, there's an 18, a 20, a 19 there. It's probably that as he's kind of been scouted a little bit more, he's fallen off of that. But still... He looks like he might have a bit about him. Although, what would he do? Because his passing's kind of gash. Well, not gash. His passing and vision aren't amazing. And neither is his tackling. So I wonder what he's going to be. I reckon he's going to be FM good. Safuan... Ma sorry, Safuan. Safuan? Safuan Ma, or Mayer. I do like the name. You're right. Solid. Oh, I agree. He's going to be useless. Oh, that's loaded on a different monitor. Wait a minute. You did have valid grounds for appeal. Yeah, photoshopped, in it. <laughs> You've used AI. <laughs> Full out their attributes. Yeah, I always use attribute masking. Um, because personally, I find that if I didn't use attribute masking, right? If I <laughs> Not called Lewis. Thank you very much for the 10 months. What do I call you then? Thank you, friend. That's very kind. I'll call you friend. Because sometimes it's about the... It's, you know, it's not about the journey. It's about the Lewises we make along the way. Um. So, yeah. If I didn't use attribute masking, this game would be unnecessarily easy. Because all we would do is we'd go in... We'd actually use filters. We would just literally go... In, I know you can't tell players' potentials, but it would be so easy to just go in here, use either the... um. I don't know, these kind of things here, because you can see every attribute. So you could still find players who are good now. And statistically speaking, from what I've noticed, you very rarely get players generating an FM that have an enormous gap between their CA and PA. And what I mean by that is that if they've got 190 PA, the chances are they're going to spawn with relatively high CA as well so that they've got time to grow into that. Occasionally, that's not the case, but most of the time that is. So if you find a guy who's really, really good at a really young age, the likelihood of them having high PA is at least more likely than not right so you wouldn't even have to worry about their potential you just go through here see their attributes and just go like, i'll have you it would be far too easy and you could just use filters how good would 20 years plenty and filters like that be if you didn't have attribute masking on right it'd be crazy but what i will say is that i feel like if you just started playing fm playing without attribute masking on is probably a really good way to get into it because it just gives you that little bit of holy shit okay for some reason this happens in a lot of our under 23 and under 19 games it feels like our right wing back slot seems to score a lot of goals uh case in point our right wing back scoring six times against Barca, which would also explain why vida has been doing so well this season oh, there you go barry scott says no shocker oh new one hang on he scored five penalties wait what <laughs> Did he actually? <laughs> Is that you, Cole Palmer? Is it? That's incredible. 
Five pe What were Marsa doing? Also, I love that they gave away five penalties. No bookings. <laughs> Wait, hang on. N not a single booking. Five penalties given away. Nothing worthy of a yellow. Like, what on earth? Uh, five players that you could loan out to other teams in the division. Uh, no. Um, generally speaking, when it comes to the players I loan out, or oh, the real question, I can't wait for this. When it comes... Uh, what's his... <laughs> Eight. Once again, then again, he's got two finishing. <laughs> oh, man can barely finish a sentence. 19 fouls, five pens, and no yellow cards. Referee just felt sorry for them, I think. Um, but yeah, so when it comes to finding players for loan, I tend to just... This is just my own, like, neurotic way of going about things, right? But what I want is... Let me think about that. Okay. Let me... F chat, I'm formulating an analogy. Wait for it. Okay. Because you know I love an analogy. This is why the chat like... Now explain it to me in Balatro terms. Anyway, I've got a story about that in a minute. So, when I think about scout... He's sort of... Yeah, I'm cooking. Let me cook. I'm chefing. I'm trying not to get distracted. It's impossible. <laughs> With you not in the room. Um, oh, I should not have said that. Ah, hang on. It's cover only o'clock. Okay. So, I tend to look at... Oh, this is where... <laughs> this is where you're not even... <laughs> this is where emergo has gone like, nah, I've had enough of this. I'm off. Basically, what I'm looking for when it comes to scouting is a an overarching method that I can use that will, in theory, find me a bit of everything. So a scattergun approach, right? And then I kind of look at that as um, sort of feeding players into a giant pachinko machine, right? But it's not complete chaos. So in a way, it isn't pachinko in any way. But it's essentially like a giant sorting machine. So as the players get funneled in from that, that are any good, they're going into different pots at the bottom, uh, sort of bouncing down the things between the balls. And some of those players I'll allocate just from like, hey, this guy's really good, looks to have high potential, he has good attributes now, he's a guy that's probably going to stay. Other players will come through. Um, a best example, actually, let's see if we've got any guys in the scout report that I can show you. Uh, we do, right. So out of these guys, obviously, these players up here, we scout again, we have a look at, these guys are probably players that are either too good for us or really good right now. But then you get players that are a bit further down. So say, for example, this guy here, right? This guy's okay. Um, yes, I see his name. That's why I said it. But he is, right? He's the kind of guy that I'd look at. Say he was 18, though, because we wouldn't actually legitimately be able to sign him. I'd look at him and go, he's cheap. We could probably get him for under 100 grand. He probably more like has this kind of CA. Provided that, say he's fully scouted and he looks like this. And some of these attributes are a bit better. I would go, fuck it. We'll sign him up for 100k. Those are the kind of guys I would sort of target for loan farmery. Players like that and players like maybe even this guy here, uh, Darius Vilk. Just cheap enough. Wouldn't require huge wages, cheap to buy, should in th young enough to they want to go out on loan. That's generally speaking how I go about it. Yeah, it's a terrible analogy. I'm ill. Give me a break. <laughs> Do you know what I did? Um, it's all about the Lemsip. Lemsip cold and flu, baby. <laughs> that Wilkes guy actually looks quite good, doesn't he? Oh, dear. But yeah. Ooh. Let me just uh, scroll out a little bit so we can actually see him. <laughs> what? Gyatso, what are you doing? Perfectionist, wanna kid. Great. Just genuinely awesome. Age matter for loans. Um, I want to say no, but I feel like it does. So generally speaking, with me scouting all the players I'm scouting, they're almost always going to be 19 or under because that's just what I'm targeting as far as players. So ideally, the younger, the better really if you could sign them at 16 they won't go out and loan immediately but it's probably for the best that you can get them in as early as you can uh one well, because they turn homegrown so any you want to really prioritize signing them before they turn 19 i think that's like the cutoff you want to look for now if you find an absolute goat who's like 19 20 then don't like stick to it as hard and fast as that uh so, so <laughs> just out of interest say for example uh that you were just i don't know minding your own business walking around the streets of america that well-known city in mexico which no doubt is where club america are based unless they're based in a club called football and you just happen to fall into pablo mora here uh who happens to be 19 were he to be more affordable i would not hesitate to pull the trigger on him basically um now i realize saying that in mexico city that point being he's decent uh in fact he's very decent but I suspect that I've already talked to his agent and they said no. No, he's got a wage demand. Was he just really expensive or something? Yeah, you need a homegrown goat, exactly. 
we goat farming out here i think this is i think i've got a brain infection <laughs> it's gone to it i uh, hammer drew one all in the end which is kind of average if it was a bit more affordable true yeah mexico cup america i think they actually were this year's top one or no this year last year i suppose technically it is this year isn't it i do kind of like him actually but i think the reason we said no was because what's our budget looking like at the moment still fairly decent actually okay god mexico produces some absolutely wonderful players doesn't it this guy's the one i would really like but actually would i so i genuinely wouldn't also someone asked if i had a video about loan farm. i actually don't and, and the reason i mean i do i have had several videos that kind of talk about it but no video that's like solely focused on it which might be actually a video i could make soon because the problem is i've been reticent to do it just because every time i feel like right that's the finality we found everything there is to find hadrian will be like ah -ah -ah, excuse me i have a blocko text for you matt and then it's new stuff that we didn't know user people the stars use your eyes yeah no but i think we talked about this oh yeah <laughs> before i don't feel like you should ignore the stars the stars are there to help you right they may not be perfect but if you don't if you entirely ignore the stars you're not going to get very far either because there are certain things that you simply cannot possibly tell from looking at a player most the, the most important thing is a player's potential you simply cannot ascertain a player's potential without using some kind of reference like the stars like generally speaking because you can have a guy that comes in fact, i had a great example of this from the discord um let me see if i can find it because i think it was in the discord it might be on the general channel chat she like absolutely should play yes great shout uh right let's see if i can find it this one here right okay let's see if i can get discord up uh let's see uh there we go right so build a nation like me um one second i will get back to that question in a second so please don't let me forget so yeah so basically um this was a discussion we were having about like youth intakes and stuff right so these two players here uh, this is radislav dragic this is from my um uh, asian video basically i had the database available to it so right this guy here i hope you can see him right and this guy here this guy here is clearly better as you can see right um, just generally speaking, you can see that he's a generally better player. However, this guy here has 196 PA, I believe. And this guy has like 126, uh, if I recall correctly. Uh, see what I say here. Yeah, sorry. 102 C uh, 102 CA, 126 PA, 115 CA, and 190 PA. So you just can't always tell from just looking at a player if they're going to be any good or not, obviously. Um, but that's just sort of something to bear in mind, I suppose. Uh, let me make sure I've actually got Firefox back on again. There we go. Cool. Right. Yeah, they're a useful guide. But you have to make your own sort of decisions on a lot of it loan farming yeah that's the thing that's why it's tough with loan farming as well because it does come down to like your current situation as well it varies heavily on what you're currently doing um what stage you are at in the save what year there's so many factors that's why i find that the loan farm checklist is so important because i feel like it allows people to sort of figure out where they are on that and slot themselves in players potential drop to great prem player go uh hang on can improve a lot i'm not sure i understand the question nicholas so players potential doesn't drop players potential is a static value um it's getting there uh wenji not great but we're getting there so the player's potential is set to the moment the player in generates into the game uh, it'll be a number between one and 200 that number never changes the only thing that can change regarding a player's potential is your scouts and coaches assessment of what that is and since you can't see the number you kind of have to trust them right PA can drop if they receive a big injury. As far as I know, PA cannot drop. Uh, the likelihood of them reaching the PA can, but as far as I know, PA is is a hard set value and it cannot be... I might be wrong about that, but I'm fairly certain that that's not true. But I... I yeah. Ah, anyway. Right, thank you, uh, Ilfa. So, yeah, basically, as far as um countries, it depends. If you've never done one before, then I would suggest starting somewhere slightly a bit easier than Malta for a start. Uh, I like Hungary, although that's still quite tough. But you want to basically find a nation that doesn't have lots of rules as far as foreign players. Because one of the things you're going to have to do is sign lots of guys that aren't from the league that you're managing in in order to not weaken the other teams in your division. Uh, how much did we win there? 3-0. All right, fair enough. Also, an assist for Gilet. Yeah, I thought that was the case. Um, 
Now, if you get a big injury for the player, it will affect their attributes, but that will actually probably drop CA more than anything else. I don't know if it actually drops CA either. I think it might do, though. Next video for the same color. So the, C the videos come out at the start of every season. So uh, we are on stream three of this season, so probably Tuesday would be my guess. I've been ill for the last week, so that's why there's been a bit of a gap on the YouTube side of things for this. But you haven't missed anything, don't worry. So I was finally glad to get the agent video out, which did really well. So I was happy with that. Uh, Hammer and Wood again. Cool. Oh. Right. <laughs> Chat, it's me. I am this guy. Uh, right, Pachuca again. I'm getting there, uh, Marina. It's just throat infection combined with, like, coldness, you know? <laughs> but it meant I couldn't speak, basically, for, like, four days. Show here where the big injury happened. Drop a 38. Um, I, yeah, as far as I'm aware, Tom, and PA cannot drop. Um, so I think I said Marina. Apologies, I, it's, my throat is quite, like, I'm fairly certain I said Marina, but again, if I got that wrong, I do apologize. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> Part exchange. I don't know, uh, Divine Chicken Wings. We only really came across it this year, so I don't know. I think it does, though. What the f So this is the thing. You see this sort of thing on the outside, right? We've seen players that have this exact same setup here. Then you look at them and you're like, mm, okay. Problem is, he plays in a position we don't use and he's very expensive. However, I definitely want to know more about him. Like, it'd be impossible not to. Yeah, has anyone tried the part exchange method on a previous FM? I'd, be, I'd love to know the information on that one. Bigger just happens to bravery. Yes, but they can recover. Um, you will see a drop in things like bravery, yeah. Left wing back. He's got no tackling. We still need someone that can tackle a little bit there. Three wins, one draw. Hell yes. He's an AM. Yeah, he could be, actually. Yeah. The question is whether he's worth the money. I mean, actually, it's not true. He is worth the money. The problem is, with a player like that, I don't really want to have to retrain them, having paid £10 million for them, because that is going to cost us. Uh, lots more contract extensions. I still haven't done them all. I I've still not done them all. <laughs> but, like, yeah, it can definitely affect a player's potential. In terms of, not sorry, their potential. It will affect their likelihood of reaching it. So, the best example of that that I have to hand is John Okoro, who was a player I had on a, building, a, a rebuilding save a few years ago. Who, holy, what is with these youth intakes today? I feel like the last three of these reports we've looked in, there's been like a five-star youth player in them. That's insane. And he's fully scouted. I guess we have really good Denmark knowledge. But I will scout him again. Although it appears I've already scouted him at one point. Maybe it was a youth... Maybe it was a youth recruitment focus, potentially. Uh, either way, that's fucking sick. I might scout their first team squad, too. Uh, Vida does not improve, unfortunately. He, uh... I think he reached his max CA a while ago. In fact, he's currently declining as it goes. Oh, six months old. Oh, yeah, no. John Okoro got like a... I think it was like a year injury. It was a broken leg, basically. When you look at, like, Vida's development... Uh, I might move my camera in a minute. You can see... Yeah, so actually, I'm not hiding anything important as it goes. Uh, as much as it says slight drop here, he's not actually lost any full amounts on um, attributes. Not scout the guys with four star PA. Uh, not yet, I don't know. Um, because. One sec. Because at the moment, there are so many players that are decent that us focusing on those four star guys probably isn't going to yield much, but waste our scouts' time. There will, however, become a time later in the save when we absolutely will look at those guys. Because at the current. Where we are at currently. Most of those guys would end up dropping off and be useless for us. But once we're starting to get to the point where we're like a Champions League contender, then I will start scouting those guys because those are usually the perfect loan farm type of chaps. But for now, we can pretty much go anything that's into the fifth star, I'm on, basically. 2065, holy shit. Iceland. Uh, you will really struggle, I think, in Iceland because Iceland, as far as I know, has very strict rules. Video on scouting, I do, yes. Uh, I think it's just exclamation mark scouting. It's called like the ultimate scouting guide. Um, now, some of the stuff we do now, we don't actually, we didn't know about when I made that video. So next year's one is going to be even better, is what I'm saying. But yeah, you can see that he gained a little bit, but he's kind of sort of, uh, if I look at him over the, like, the last, say, three years, pretty much stagnant with a slight increase in concentration. It's it's very much, uh, I think it's exclamation I don't know what, I think it, I think it is exclamation mark scouting, but I'm not sure. Ah. Right. 
Underpaid. Mm, you are a bit. I agree, so I tell the but I won't be doing that. Actually, I might have a choice to do this. Oh, thank God he likes Jose Padilla. Uh, not Ultimums. Thank you very much for the follow. If not Ultimums, then what? Thank you, friend. How is your Thursday going? Transformers. My biggest issue in Iceland is how shit I am every time I manage there. <laughs> I have never had a good experience managing in Iceland. Not because it's not fun, but because I've just done appallingly. Iceland, Spain. Can't be done. They are my kryptonite. Every time I've tried to manage in Iceland or Spain, I just absolutely shit the bed. Second team for Midland? Tassan Farhan. Not a bad player, actually. Got a potential star bump. Wait, who did? Padilla. Oh my god. Every time I look at him, I just get a bit of a fizzy feeling. Like, he might actually be a world-class player one day. A arguably is borderline that already. He needs a few more blue, though, I would say. Or oh, the Vita replacement. Oh, yeah, no. The Vita replacement. Wait, he's got another star. New job is working from home, so oh I God. may actually catch some weekday streams. You love to see it. Toppy14, Cap. Thank you so much for the six months. It's lovely to have you in, my friend. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Greece or Bulgaria? I don't know the uh, the rules for Greece or Bulgaria, uh, so you'd have to check them out yourself. Uh, but I'm sure someone in chat might potentially know as well. Yeah, you're right. He's had a bump, hasn't he? That excites me. Because I was happy with how he was, right? Thinking that, oh, he's quite close to his CA. And he's good. If he does have more, then God was stacked on that left-hand side now. Palacio and Lohovi. <laughs> Hell yes. We also met in Europe. No. Uh, we are currently 12th, I think? Yeah, 12th at the moment. And on the year, staying 12th as it goes. Well, I suspect. Luckily, we've given ourselves a nice big gap, which is starting to get. It. We're actually kind of. Be, we're going to be fine in 12th, 13th for the next few years if we do need to kind of uh, two left out. Don't tempt me. That's got Maltese Cup final written all over it. 5 0 you. Ooh. Yeah, 5 0 you would be very difficult because especially in the early stages of these kind of saves. Oh, please, go on. Oh, you love to see it. FM, you spoil me. Look at this. Oh, he's a wingback. Wait, wait, wait. He's an actual wingback. Uh, I, I, I tell you, uh, there's something there. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something there. Not for you. Know. Yeah, the thing is, the reason you want to watch out with things like the e, non-EU limit, especially, is because... Did I scout those two? Yeah, okay. Is because, especially in the early stages of the save, you are going to be heavily relying on signing players from Africa and South America, especially Africa at first. Now, some African nations will count as EU, but it will vary depending on the nation that you're managing in. Uh, so you can find out. So it will it basically it will rely on things like, is it, where do you actually find this information? I can never remember where it is. It's under like agreements or something, but I can't remember how to actually get to the screen if it's not linked directly on your... Um, on your league, which obviously it's not for us. Absolutely, Nicholas. Sure, drop a screenshot in chat. Any other things in the group? Uh, only hammering. Uh, currently. I love how we've fallen off this. I love how we were on this before even having anyone decent. Listen to your reporting. Uh, no, I don't believe you can. No. However, at some point I am going to produce just a giant list for people. Because I notice people ask me about this a lot. The, the reason I find it difficult to do so is... This is going to have another five star in it, isn't it? Yep. My God, I know it's Matt acting surprised that Boca Juniors have good players, but still, come on. I feel like a lot of the time when we look at these clubs, we're disappointed. This year is not that year. Salzburg so qualified for the new club. Did they really? Well, big up them, I suppose. League of Interested party says, which countries count as he... Does it? But does it say it for every league? Because the thing is, our league doesn't have any restrictions on that. So I don't think it actually has... That's the thing. So it's harder to find out. The point being, though, there used to be a page in FM that actually showed you all those agreements so you can see them on one big screen, but maybe it doesn't exist anymore. Work permits. Yeah, work permits for me are the bane of my existence, which is why I tend to just not bother <laughs> in terms of, like, managing in those leagues. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to build a list of the teams that we report initially anyway. Now, the thing is... Ooh, a bit of money. It will vary from save to save because of your database setup. Um, so 
Because if you've not got these leagues switched on or haven't got them set up in the database I use, you may not find players there, which is the biggest issue. And that's why when someone says, hey, you've got to check out this team, we look at them and they've got no players in the squad. That's why you've got to be careful. And that's why I tend to set it up the way that I do, because that way I at least know that the players, the clubs are producing players in this save, I guess. So that's the reason I use the logical flow I do. Like, which is why I actually, part of me wonders if maybe producing a list. Oh, you found it. World. Oh, is it one of these things where, hang on. So there, or I don't. Firstly, I've never even noticed this screen existed. <laughs> so world. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Go normal world. Okay, normal world. Yep. Just on profile. Ah, right. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. I hate the fact that it doesn't give you the full context menu. This is what you're looking for, basically. So you'll notice a lot of the time that certain groups of nations usually... Nope, they are not showing. Basically, certain nations count as EU, some don't. <laughs> That's essentially what we're getting. <laughs> it's not bad either, actually. I know it's four star, but Icelandic. Which makes better fun nationality equals better player it's, it is just the rules anyone new nah oh hello wait no there is one new they're both shocking but it's rare that we ever see 15 year olds even on these lists so we'll scout them until they're crap which is e immediately as it goes get them for the yeah sorry that's what it's because i'm not used to managing in leagues that have those kind of rules anymore so i get a bit distracted roy flems right 18 million. Oh, likes right. Likes the whole likes big matches thing. Way more important than we thought it was. Um because Jesus Christ. 18 million is a lot of money, but the fact is he's clearly worth it for you if you look at the current value that he's got. And that's actually quite cheap for an Ajax player. Fair, fair play. See the rule section. Oh, can you? Yes, to be fair, we don't have any leagues of view only either. Micronesian Ballon d'Or. Right, now I'm gonna need a screenshot of that. But yeah, look at Roy. Look at him. He's an unironically excellent footballer. Like, he's not world-class or anything, but I genuinely think he's good. And he always seems to score for us. Which is never a bad thing. Oh, dear. Yeah, the last time I really looked at the whole... Um, actually, I think the last time I properly looked at the rule set for those... Oh, God. Watara's injured as well. Who the hell is going to start up front in our next game? Yeah, who's judging that? Um, <laughs> probably our other strikers, I'm guessing, Con. Right. Uh, Roy might end up having to start here. With Melbourne up top. I'm doing manual for these ones, just so that we can ensure that I actually get the players I want in these squads. Uh, Nunez, definitely. I put Kamger in? Actually, fuck it, we'll do Markovic. <laughs> Darwin Nunez? <laughs> we'll ask Eric Nunez. Right. Uh, yeah, Krastev and Luhavoy are fine, because they, they want to be rested. We'll, sorry, they don't want to be arrested. Rather, we'll do Del Castillo. So it's going to be a Speedo, Kadri, and Paez, which means two Car and Rojas can actually stay in. I think. I don't think there's any suspension issues. Or do I just play Rob Hilton? Because it feels like the only time Rob Hilton plays is during these. Uh, get Freitas back in. All right, that should do. I would not be surprised at all if Roy scores here. He just seems to do it. Get some match shot. He's got Melbourne's really fallen off, hasn't he? He's a legend in my eyes, though. That's all that matters. Henry Watara, upset about being left out. Okay, thank you for that, injured man. Probably don't get injured then. This seems more of a you problem than a me problem. Is that because he's only orange injured? He reckons he should be allowed to hobble around the pitch and absolutely, like, stymie us the entire time. Nice. Goal for Roy. The right back spot, yet again, absolutely smashes it. Krastev is... He's starting to like... I I'm going to show you the stats in a minute, but I think he's starting to rival Vida. I might be uh, getting close to being able to start as our starter. I thought it might happen by the end of this season, but I think it's getting closer now. Although Vida is still doing well, so I've got to give him credit there. Uh, Club Icons and Legend is surprisingly few. So it's actually only Janos, me essentially, and Melman, who are legend. Camgrad Lend finally gets to be an icon, and I'm glad of that because he deserves it. Vida's favorited. So is Padilla, actually. 
which is surprising because he's not really played that much for us yet, but good to know. For Fana, he will be rubbed off of this list fairly fast, I would say. Lucas Marza, totally deserved. He was an absolute, like, definitely a legend of the early stages of this save. And Watara definitely deserves it as well for his output. He's been pretty solid. Uh, the only one I would disagree with there is for Fana because the man literally had one good season. It really is, though. The, the right back spot is is fabulous at the moment. But yeah, what I want to show you is the comparison in terms of statistical output between um, people have a drop off. Yes, they can do. They're unlikely to drop off in this save because usually what happens is, um, as far as I know, I don't actually know the intricacies of how that screen is populated, but as far as I understand it, it's based on certain factors that we can't see. And then over time, more and more players will meet those requirements, which means some of the ones that have the lower end of those will drop off the list. That's why if you look at big clubs, um, it tends to like remove people. I don't know if it removes people that are on there hard coded though, potentially. I don't know. Hello, Rob. How's it going? Oh, excuse me, chat. So let me try. Yeah. What I wanted to show you is things like XA per 90, which I think is one of the most important factors. Lahovi has a 0.79. Krastev, 0.42. Vida, 0.31. So he's already outdoing Vida. Now, admittedly, lower quality of opposition, that is an important thing to note. Um, also, Lahovi, though, with he's really killing it. Like, way more than I thought he was. And, you know, the sample size isn't massive, and he would have played against better opposition, but that's really nice. Manager, oh, really? That's intriguing. I should have realized it was manager specifically. Generally feeling good. Yes, I suspect that that's going to be a thing that's going to happen for a while, Rob. Um, not that I have children, but I have friends who did, and I've barely seen them in two years. <laughs> Such is life. But hopefully you're basking in the glow of being a father. Was this your first child or was this the second child? I... Who are you? Oh, he was a free um, Honduran guy that we were looking at randomly, I guess. Because we just do that kind of thing. Right, we have to beat Dinamo Zagreb in the next game. There is zero excuse. This is the beginning of it turn around. Second beat your partner's first. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, at least you got some experience there. Um, you're like that centre back, the one that's like got 35 games, like, you know, plays every single season with the young centre back next year. Like, this is how we do it. This is how we get through these defensive situations. Like, right? yeah, that's a terrible analogy. Most much like every other analogy I've so spouted out so far today. Yes, you're like Thiago Silva, precisely. I see. Thank I'll you for the follow. VVD and Kwanzaa. Yes, there you go. Plus, you should be starting more. Don't 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 test me, Julian. Don't test me. I mean, it'll be fine. I will literally... Actually, will he be fine? Yes. Yes, he will. Baddy is Sheila. Good. I like your thinking. Ah, uh, Christ. As you get last year, tougher. Oh, much tougher. Because, well, firstly, you just start a lot lower, which just makes it inherently tougher. But also, just getting over the the hump of other multi-sides really not being able to do much for us. And when they do, it's... Good God. It seems to always be a surprise. Uh, you are very intriguing. Oh, hello. Let me just... Uh, oh. If I get this right. There we go. We're getting a bit more spam lately, aren't we? Do you think... is, is Have I made it? Is that how you know you've made it when you start getting the spam? Or am I going backwards? <laughs> Someone say both. Gets in your mouth. There you go. I mean, am I... Am I incorrect? Dick sing <laughs> Dick sings Paez praises. I don't know why that sentence is intriguing to me. Speaking to the Birkikara Beer football messenger, Dick took time to see... Him. <laughs> I love it because Bro doesn't even play anymore. Wait. Oh, yeah, he's the worst director of football of all time. Wait. I could have sworn Dick had retired, retired. Maybe he was on that. I could have sworn we saw a retirement screen on him. Or were I thinking of someone else? Either way. What, hang on. What, what would he do? Has he got any other comp... So he's a manager, fitness coach, set piece coach. What's his set piece coaching like? Right. <laughs> he's just, just awful, isn't he? He. What can he do? 
<laughs> he literally can't do anything. <laughs> Thing is, he'll never agree to it. I'm getting there, uh, Eitan Red. I'm slowly but surely getting there. Still feel kind of rough, but at least I can speak again. I don't know if we can, Captain Backlog, but we could try. Uh, let's try it. I, I think he won't go for it. Wait, what? Can I not even offer him that? I'm not sure if I can even offer him that. Oh, I can offer him technical director. Added to the band terms. I know. It's like the bots are learning. Right, let's offer him a bit of cash. Long contract. What's the maximum I can offer? <gasps> oh, hot dog. Um, Just as well I didn't scroll. Do you know what I can offer our technical director? £61,000 a week should I decide to have a midlife oh, crisis. This isn't where I parked my like, car. what is that about? Uh, Glazer Sympathizer, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, it's really strange, Adrian. Dick to 61k. Give Dick the bag. All right, I'll give him 2k a week. Oh my god, he said yes! Chat, the dick is in. The ball's in his court, it's true. Also, how's that going, Adrian? How are you, man? I should have offered him like a 69k bonus. I didn't think he'd agree to that. Last time we tried to give him a job, he just said no to everything. Maybe it's because the things we were offering him were further away from his actual skill set. Bear in mind, his skill set is nothing. He has no skill set. Yeah, just a little bit better than me, Hedger. I, I really do apologize, Vodies, especially. Um, because I, obviously they won't have the music, so I apologize if I sound like absolute garbage. And I really am trying not to, but hopefully you can understand it's just a difficult one. Oh, Squibble to sing. It does a bit, doesn't it? Thank you very much for the tent. That's so necessary. Matt. Get better soon. Also, just found a Senegal new gen named Doodoo Bar. I'm gonna buy, obviously. Doodoo yes. Bar. Doodoo Bar, indeed. That's an insta buy. Any kind of name like that, I'm in. I'm just in. Uh, Javier. Th sorry, Javier. Thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Yeah, let's hear. Ah, here we go. This is true. It's, a, it's the most pointless role in the game. Use his loan market, guys. Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was, right? This was the new thing I was supposed to tell you guys about. Hadrian has a theory about how potentially um, we could maybe start to seed the Maltese League with coaches and managers who have certain uh, preferred Bless you. things, basically. <laughs> like the move. Thank you very much for the 15 months. And Jambalaya, thank you for the 100 bits. Basically, there are certain preferred things that managers like to do. If we could find guys, bring them in as coaches with, like, uh, hey, reverse side loan players, for example. I hope you get better soon. And I also hope that your illness goes away. Oh, so we have to, like, manually find them. Holy Lord. Okay, that might be something to do off stream then. <laughs> if I could avoid going back to bed off stream today. Oh, dear. Um, I'm getting there, Jambalaya. Slowly but surely. Right, let's just quickly, um... Why am I? Why are these guys on a short? What shortlist are you even on? I need to actually do that manually, I think, because every time I click remove from shortlist, it doesn't work unless they're on the main shortlist. Uh, not interested. Wait. Huh. He was much higher rated before. Oh well. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, the rest of these guys though. Oh, Tanzanian, who actually plays for a Tanzanian side as well. Oh, he's not good though, is he? My apologies. Hello, Sean. I'm, I'm all right. I'm plugging on away. Plugging on through. Let's see. Lots of reasonables. A few minimals and marginals. Okay. Probably should have done a check on age there, just in case it tried to sneak in any, like, 27-year-olds, but such is life. Uh, right. Anyone in here that's not entirely awful? Looking at, like... Well, I'm looking at things like if they have a wage demand, what the current options are there as well. <sighs> Yeah, well, Dick's coming in. It's all good news. Hadrian, thank you for the two years. The man anyway, who is... take you. some money from Big Daddy Bezos to make you feel like he'll... I will. I will. That's all I had to do. <laughs> Turns out, you just need to get a throat infection and everything will be all right. I watched so much mindless crap. <laughs> Although I did watch Fallout. So I got a chance to watch that, I suppose. I also watched way too many Rachel McAdams movies. <laughs> I hate, like having nothing to do it's just nasty 
I was really I was really impressed with it. I really enjoyed it. Um I there was a few things like at first it at first I was like yes. Then I was like set, sort of episodes 3 through like 2 through 4, like 2 through 3, like 2 or 3 I was like oh, it felt a little bit like a show that wasn't Fallout wearing a Fallout skin almost and it could have been anywhere. And then it started to get better for me again. But of a troll oh, Jesus Christ Ginger, that is absolutely horrific um are you okay i mean obviously they're not but like are you okay yeah i know i can completely understand is there anyone with you i said they definitely nailed the vibe for me i think the aesthetic and the set design and the costume design was absolutely brilliant is there another tanzanian guy he's really expensive considering better show yeah i'd say so and bear in mind like i mean i've not played that much fallout i've only really ever played fallout 4 so i know that that is like a sin but i enjoyed it hello huge bob i'm all right getting there slowly uh there's joe who is ah this is the right if you want an example of players that i highlight specifically for lone farm these guys right his potential is not amazing got okca he's cheap has some okay attributes these are the kind of guys that you want for lone farms super cheap wage wouldn't cost us a lot of money perfection this is the exact type of player you want oh okay it's a bit higher than i was expecting honestly how many bases are talking about yeah i mean i think i've talked to you guys about this before but a friend of mine um back in like 2008 was hit by a train um just utterly awful um yeah and it wasn't like he bear in mind i see was hit literally it wasn't like um an a purposeful thing he it was an accident which makes it way what makes i mean it's already incredibly tragic but that's what made it even worse is that it wasn't like a he wasn't um committing suicide he, he was not on purpose uh right girlfriend is here good yeah, no, that, that's the main thing. As long as someone's with you at the moment, that's just important, man. We, we've got to look out for people, right? Um, yeah, we'll get him in as well. Things, honestly, what even have been this so far is us losing to Manchester United quite narrowly. I guess, oh, my bad. Uh, this one. Holy God. I like your barbecue. Why doesn't mine look like that? Oh my, look at his hair. He's even got beautiful hair. What's not to like? We just, I just, one player like this throughout the entire save would be the GOAT. Uh, and we get Matthew Side, who's good, I agree. But like, nothing on this guy's level. That's insane. Fair fucking play. Enjoy. Absolutely. Peru. Nice. Midfield rolls would be. Uh... 40 year old. Firstly, love that love everything about that i'm so bad with tactics because i can build a tactic and it can be successful but i'm really bad at explaining why it's successful and also getting to the point where it is successful that that's my biggest issue so if i was to, if you to show me a tactic i would maybe be able to give you like a couple of things that might help but most of the things i would say probably wouldn't be that helpful because i'm i really struggle to figure out what doesn't work about other people's tactics from looking at them i find that the best way to go about it is just go into matches with it see if you notice anything about the way the players play what ch chances you're creating where the shots are coming from uh in terms of the shot map what sort of quantity of chances you're creating as well as the quality of them too ah, no ginger please don't feel like you're killing the vibe not at all oh jesus ginger that's 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 horrible man i'm sorry you had to go through that genuinely Understand why. Yeah, that's the thing. This is why at some point I think I am actually going to make a video about this exact thing uh, because I think it's the same trap that many players fall into, which is wanting to build a tactic, but then getting so overwhelmed with all the tactical discourse out there as far as like YouTube videos and blogs and all that sort of stuff, right? Um, because it's... A lot of it can be overwhelming in terms of the quantity of data that you're being provided with, right? So I feel like... Uh, yeah, I've already killed the vibe. Why not? Oh, hang on. This is that guy, isn't it? The Mauritanian no no the mauritian we have to right he's from mauritius it'd be rude not to sign a guy from mauritius 
I, I really do struggle to understand that sort of stuff myself, which is why I think I'm going to build a video that's literally just called like building tactics the lazy way or the easy way, which is where I run through the methodology that I use to build tactics, which actually ignores a lot of the intricacies of how you build tactics and kind of jumps straight to the, is this going to work in this game? What do you think, Major? I'm, I'm about to sign a, tan uh, a guy from Mauritius, if that helps. And we're just trying to get to the next Champions League game, which is tomorrow. Uh, so we're getting close to it. Oh. That's a shame. I'm going to scout him again. He was five stars a minute ago, and it looked like we scouted him before. And I want us to see if that holds. Uh, right. Oh, there's Mark Vaughan. Standard face in the game connoisseur. No relation to Vaughan in chat. Or is he? Um, this is Vaughan's face in the game the entire time. This guy was a youth recruitment focus a little while ago. I always say youth recruitment focus as if there's such a thing. Recruitment focus. He's not bad, actually. Quite expensive, though, potentially. Less than ideal. Um, I forgot Pereira. He was that guy that came through before that we can't talk to yet. But uh, he's that striker that the game seems to value really highly. And I have no idea what we would do with him, even if we did sign him. Oh, for sure, John. No, genuinely. There's nothing more satisfying for me in FM than building your own tactic. It's... Uh, let's see... It's one of the most rewarding things you can do in FM, but it is difficult because there's so many different moving parts. And a lot of the time it feels like you're rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic when things start to go wrong with them, right? Uh, these guys are all sort of in that price range slash like attribute PA range where it's like, they're not good enough. They are probably good enough for the loan farm, but they're way too expensive for us. And they're nowhere near good enough for me to spend any money on such is life. Uh, you're at Chelsea, which is, oh no, I was going to say, he looked remarkably cheap. He's not. Kevin Bogardo would actually talk to us, but he's very, very expensive. And he can't let a football. It's a shame because he's actually not bad elsewhere. Just can't let a football. Such is life. Francois Mouliot. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, this guy here, manager unemployed. Ah, tends to use loan market. There you go. So what you're saying is we need to somehow find members of staff like this. Um, huh. And are you saying there's no way that I could filter this? Oh, I can make him my own IT's manager, though. I don't know if we've already got one or who it is, but I guess we're about to find out. It is weird that you can't search for that, given that it's presumably an attribute, not like an attribute, but some kind of drop down, right? Feels like the game's kind of weird about letting you look for that sort of stuff. Uh, Claudius Morovsky. Oh, that's very annoying. It's annoying that stuff like that isn't searchable. You think, you know, could you not search for player traits either? Because I've never really tried to, so I don't know if you can or not. Uh, who are you? He's pretty solid as well. I might actually shortlist him. Only pre game editor. Oh, really? I bet you could do it in something like FMRTE or something, but. Actually, speaking of RTE. This is an important question because this might, whether I make a certain video could hang on the balance of this. Is there any way to do mass edits in FMRTE that you can give it like a short list and that is what allows you to then change the information on? Because basically I've been working on a video idea for a little while of could a rest of the world team win the World Cup? And by that, I mean like a bottom 100 nations team win the World Cup. But I want to do the thing I do with regions on my normal videos where I translate everyone over from those nations. And I've already got the filter set up to find the players to make a shortlist. But what I can't seem to figure out when to do is to efficiently and quickly change those players' nationalities over to the rest of the world nation that I've set up, basically. Because uh, it's fine to do the initial part, but actually changing the regions over seems to be where the real issue would come in. And I don't know if it's possible. Nothing I could find suggested it would be possible. Much easier for me. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Of course he knows how because i've already done it initially it's just that when it comes to changing the regions over that's where the problem comes in um uh, who even doesn't seem to have are we selling you oh, i really really don't want to sell him actually i do i'd rather sell him got a new uniform hell yeah you'll have to see it new nation called rest of the world which we have the bottom 100 new regions that will come through ah right okay this is this is good 
intriguing because the way i did it basically was i didn't create a new nation at all i just used i just used lebanon because they happened to be the team that was in 101th spot second nationality on the oh i see do you know if there's that's a train coming really cool actually oh, Corey, yeah, dude thank you very much for the follow okay I'll, I'll message you about this off the stream because that well, i was as usual going about it the wrong way because what i did basically was i used um lebanon because they were 101th in the rankings change them to the rest of the world and then just change the nationality of every other player from those hundred and tooth spot down to be this is, this is lebanese um i'll see you later jinjo um stay strong man um yeah see you next time uh let's see what about load Ooh. i mean if you want it we could do it 100 and tooth exactly yeah oh no worries man it's that means that this seems possible, which is awesome. Because basically what I wanted to see is if we could actually get a rest of the world team to win the World Cup. Because I thought it'd be kind of fun. Because as much as I wanted to do like another one of those can they win the World Cup videos, I thought this would just be a bit more macro and a bit more appealing overall and a bit more interesting. Yeah, I think I'm just going to start adding tooth to everything now. Do you know, genuinely, it's hard. It's easier for me to say that than it is to say third or second. It, when I say second, it makes my nose go funny. <laughs> genuinely i'm i'm doing it through ease of my use uh oh yeah we do a contract extension for you as well right bit of that uh wait walk away who are you oh the huddersfield guy yes squad player uh, he's gonna we'll have to to sign him up because i do want him but he's one of those guys we're gonna have to annoy and drop down later I will do that because he's going to get caps up from Mauritius. Regional teams represent Asia. Um, I find that less appealing because there are good teams in Asia. Whereas by doing it with the rest of the world teams, so everyone outside of the top 100, I feel like there's an element of like, actually, if they all club together, could they go somewhere with it? like soccer and capture i guess but the way i wanted to do it basically was that every single player that came through declared for that nation which obviously absolutely decimates the rest of those ones but those wouldn't qualify for the world cup anyway for the most part anyway with the exception of maybe new zealand who are just outside in the sim that i did anyway that was how i wanted to have it set up competition of regions um i don't know if that's even possible not without recreating the tournament from scratch which is far beyond my knowledge base which, as we've already established, is fairly low to begin with. <laughs> Probably could do with some work. I'm just... I'm working through my video. I kept... I was having a bath the other day, and I was like, oh, what if I turned FM into a rogue light? And then my brain went, what? <laughs> how are you going to do that? And I honestly couldn't figure out a way, but I feel like there is something there. I just... I don't know how or why, especially why, but I feel like it could be done. Right. Oh, we lose to Arsenal. Wow, we are not doing well. We have to beat Dino Rosario up here. There is zero excuses. But I'm genuinely concerned that with the players we've got available, we may not do. Well, at least Henry's back. Is Perez back yet? Not quite. Yeah, he has less sharpness than I do right now. Was an error trade? Oh, hang on a minute. Right. Let me set this lineup up. Then I'm going back to look at that. Uh, shit breaks. The main thing is it went really well as always with these things you, you always feel like oh what was i worried about afterwards but it's understandable to be uh worried at first i, I can't remember who said it but there was a, a quote that i really liked which was uh worrying is paying um paying interest on a debt you don't owe um you can add that one to my live laugh live love laugh and through the clouds if you like yeah i think i did christian i just couldn't figure out how to make it work i was i had a much more flushed out version which was the fm rpg that one I did do a lot of work on. I've still kind of got that in the background. I actually have quite a lot of that being flushed out. And there was the cheese stuff. Well, see, that was kind of more like the RPG version I was planning. I even had like a whole set of rules built for that one. If you worry, you suffer twice. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, I'll say all that. And yeah, I'm as big a warrior as anyone out there, really. I'm a proper, like, I worry about fucking everything, man. Like, all this I've been worrying about for the last sort of five days if you like is that christ if i take a stream off will there anyone will anyone be there when i come back and if you take a second stream off will anyone be there when it's genuinely like it's crazy but that's the sort of things you worry about or i worry about 
like be a process yeah exactly i had a whole system set up for it where it had like a whole set of rules so like certain things that the player achieved would get the boot bonuses right probably stockholm syndrome well that's good <laughs> you've learned to love captivity and i'm proud of you right do we start vida today no, we kind of have to he has done very well in europe and he has offered us goals uh, yeah but it's the sort of thing i worry about uh yeah we'll do this again sorry you're not a warrior uh right i am like a giant panda i am the zoo oh dear right uh that'll have to do oh christ the speed of being injured does not help because now two is gonna have to play and he's not actually done a lot this season we've got like a few standouts but the rest of the team is slowly getting up to their level it's just taking a little while right okay what have they got wow just a full they've got sven fucker in the team good to see I remember seeing this guy in a youth intake of, in like a youth report a few years ago, and he's actually starting to look quite good. Look at his value. I actually really regret not signing him now. He can head a football and everything. Damn. This is just their entire like youth team, isn't it? And then they've got Junior Liga on loan from Porto as well. This, uh, that's his name. That is his name. Sven is, I'm guessing it's Sven Fuchkar, but it is Sven Fucker. Yeah, Porto having a Parallel from Porter is a bit weird. Unless it was like as part of some deal or something? That makes much sense either. Ulrika Johnson's back. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um this might not be as easy as I thought it was. We kind of have to win this. We win this, we're in real trouble. Sorry, we lose this, we're in real trouble. Win this and things start to look a bit brighter. Okay. This is where we end up going backwards again and we have to rebuild the tactics once more. There used to be a game called Sven where sheep were What? What? What is this? Is this like Shower With Your Dad simulator? The surprising about that these guys are actually real players that I just didn't realise. Their entire midfield... They only have four regions in their team. That's actually really surprising. It means that they probably will have quite high consistency, but I feel like we should have them on an athletic standpoint. Magnificent schwar of a... <laughs> they must be fairly old, yeah. In fact, let's have a look. So, goalkeeper is... 34, which is actually fairly young still for this. Uh, their defenders are all regens. They've got Vrbancic, who's... 31... Wow, 31? 29... Wait, are these grayed out players? They must have some of the youngest, like, regen players. Wow. Yeah, it must be lots of, like, 15 to 70. Oh, for God's sake. Our goalkeeper got injured five minutes into the game. Head injury? Oh, my God. Um, did our goalkeeper just get Peter checked? There's only a few head injuries you can get in FM. Right. Uh, that's not ideal. Fractured skull is an injury that you can get. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, I think concussion is much more likely. Is there a bruised head? I don't know if bruised head is... I think it is, isn't it? But I think it's most likely to be a concussion. I imagine, yeah. Broken nose, he wears a mask. Oh, imagine that. Give him a broken nose. That's a pass. Go on, Henry. Great first touch. Oh, it's beautiful. He's onside. Get in. Gashed head. That's the one. Yeah. Gashed head might be it. He's got the sniffles. He's just like me. Right, we lead, though. That's the most important thing. He's broken his skull, chat. That would actually be horrendous, given that we missed out on the goalkeeper we wanted. Could have dispatched Freitas for 35 million or whatever to Liverpool. And then he might be... You know in the great big goal of the sky by the time this game finishes. Right, yeah, Red Sea goalkeeping injuries. I don't think I've ever seen a head injury on a goalkeeper in FM before, which is worrying. But we do lead. And Quasi and Watara have linked up nicely. She needs to keep playing like this for the rest of the match, and things should be good. But yeah, just getting this first win. Oh, God. 
Oh, Wello. Are they about to schlong corner? They are, aren't they? Oh, ho, ho, ho. he had a migraine. <laughs> He's just gone to lie down in a dark room. Found a ridiculously cheap world-class goalkeeper who had signed for less than 100 for a million pounds. Oh, my God. Hang on, world-class goalkeeper? God, I wish I could... <sighs> Do you know what the thing is, Adrian, right? You're just going to... I'm now going to be sat here after stream looking through every goalkeeper <laughs> in the world that I could see just to see if there's any kind of hint that there's some decent attributes there now. <laughs> On par with Freitas. Well, that might help, I suppose. I'm going to have a look for him later. Oh, over the bar. So, Karis, I hope you're still with <laughs> Yeah. Um, hopefully we do as well. How's it going, Millie? How the devil are you, friend? Okay, reasonable first half performance for us so far. Gakune's actually done all right. His toupee full of... Ah, yes, I see. He's got the uh, the embarrassment injury. What should he go into madness? Oh, that would be so mean, wouldn't it? Fine, fine. You're not wrong, actually, Highbrow. I feel like we've... Goalkeepers are like buses. Oh, is this going to be a repeat of the first goal? No. I tend to find that I very rarely ever spend huge amounts of money on goalkeepers. I usually find absolute gods, either on free transfers or just insanely cheap. I think had we signed Joel Simon, that would have been the first time I'd really ever pushed the boat out like that on a goalkeeper. Because um, remember, who was it? We always seemed to get a goal. We had Zdrava Virginia, we had Bartva Bruggen on previous saves, who I think we got for free in both cases. That's a great pass. Come on, Henry, 2 0. Yes. Lovely. Matt can find him. I think I could probably find him. Now that I know he exists, I reckon I could find him. In fact, no. No, chat. That's what we're going to do. After this game, we're going to go and find the dog. We're going to find him. Hadrian's not allowed to give us any more information. I'm going to find him. <laughs> Together we can track him down. Now, the thing is, we don't know his age or anything. Bet you're not. Fuck. The worst thing about it is that that makes me think that he's even, like, maybe obscure nationality or something, which would make him even better. <laughs> Bet you're not. Oh, it's going to be... The thing is, I reckon it might be one of these guys that's actually got quite, like, low CA or something, or low PA. And as a result, he's just got, like, the perfect attributes. But when, if we were to look at him from a scout report, we would maybe even ignore him just because he wouldn't have the, the best sort of initial look. Those are the hardest ones to find. Oh, Padilla over the bar. Yeah, <laughs> taking the next two hours of stream. I will say I was on par with Freitas when I signed him. Jesus Christ. The thing is, you've not given us any clue as to his age. And not that I, not that I want one either. Um, but he can't be super young. But I'm guessing he can't be super old either. Now, he might not be capped because he could be one of these rare players you find that are... from like a bigger nation oh my god it's three we're three nil up look at us yeah that's what i'm thinking like play the load of <laughs> imagine if it was so, <laughs> so well <-jiving. laughs> yeah this is where hadrian accidentally missed the stream and it was just the guy from um st trowder that we were trying to sign last time no because he said million pound that guy was gonna cost us a fortune I think you're right. It has to be sort of 21, 22. He's going to have to have high CA in order to have those kind of stats, which means he has to be probably coming through at a club where he would have played a lot of football. Sub million. Oh, God, that's going to make it much harder, isn't it? Would I take this keeper? Let's be honest. I probably would. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit... Actually, he's very expensive. And he is good, but genuinely... He's not actually that good. Like, he's very good. But I think our goalkeeper right now is actually better than him. Oh, real player, isn't he? Still a good player. Play like this ever. Oh, now you've, now you've intrigued me. Apologies for the constant... What the fuck? Um. He looks right. I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking for specifically. He doesn't... Not sure there's anything super wrong with him. Oh, wait. Hang on. Sorry. I'm a, you're right. I'm an idiot. Uh, no, I haven't seen anything like that. That's wild. This must be a hard-coded thing, right? It has to be. Povey, Povey, thank you very much for the five months. What the hell? So he's a real player because he's 25. That's amazing. 
it does make you wonder what would happen if you declared every player like that. So you gave every other player the ability to play as a goalie. I don't know why that would matter. What a first half. Goalkeeper stretching off after four minutes and then we're 3-0 up. Probably a guy with it. Yeah. The thing is, Vaughn, it could be one of those annoying situations where the game says that the player's worth like 7 million. Then when you put a bid in, he's on the really, really low end of it. Randomly. Damn it, we've given up a goal. Ruskin! Six dunks. Thank you for the 36 months at tier two is crazy. Thank you so much, friend. How's it going? I feel like we haven't spoken for a while. Hope you're well. Overrides every other position. Make it sound like that's my problem. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. Uh, frustrating to give up their first... Well, it wasn't really their first opening. Someone like Dino of Zagreb. Oh, I wonder. Because he only brought this up when we were playing Zagreb. I'm just saying. I'm sure it's not as simple as that, but that's a thought, actually. <laughs> Blue Nose, how's it going, man? Uh, let me have a look. It's obviously not this guy, because he's their starting keeper. And he's also 34 years old. So they've got a 25-year-old here. He's not bad, you know. But I don't think that's him. That would be funny as fuck. Oh, I must say, he does meet a few of the requirements. <laughs> Cooper, take off the Pope hat. He ain't playing currently. <laughs> He's not bad, though. Fazin, uh, sorry, Fazin Chi. Thank you very much for the follow. They've got no other goalkeepers in there. Okay, so it's not... I don't think it is him. I don't think he's as good as Freitas. Not even really that close to being as good as Freitas, truthfully. Yeah, he just starts throwing out clues to throw us off the scent. Uh, yeah, that's one club checked. She was played how many tower? Oh, true. So we know that he's not a starter for whichever club he is at then. Hmm. I think what this is going to require from us, chat, is quite literally attribute search goalkeepers using my filter. And see if maybe we don't know about him though that's the problem we don't even if you have worldwide scouting there are some players that you just simply do not have knowledge of their existence and it might just be that if he's slightly obscure which given his value he may well be it might be impossible for us to find that's the problem oh that would be the most uh, honestly funniest thing ever <laughs> uh are we about to concede another goal here we actually have um can we like not do this we battered them in the first half and then have absolutely shot the bed. Right, substitutions are happening. Palacio for Hovi. Padilla's done okay, actually, but I'm a little bit concerned about the way we're playing now. Uh... Oh, oh yeah, of course I made a sub for the goalkeeper, didn't I? Yeah, we could. I think my first, my first port of call is going to be to just do a like an attribute search um, using my my views. The way we would find, say, if we're looking for a centre-back, we'll just use a goalkeeping one, which I never really use. Right. Uh, this is suddenly getting a bit worrying. We were absolutely dominant in this game, and now we're not. And I feel like it's because they're throwing bodies forward, but that should give us gaps. Yeah, <laughs> he spends two years building up all the goodwill, becomes a mod, becomes... <laughs> and then... <laughs> Oh, that would be incredible. It's, it's a super... No, it's the kind of derailment I could use today. Something to keep me focused. Right, go on, Kamga. Oh, what a... T oh! No, he didn't just do that. Did he just, like, do a fake shot and duck inside the defender there? I might be wrong about that. No, but look what happens when Kamga gets... The I swear he does, like, a fake shot to duck inside the defender. Uh, do you see the way his body sort of like shimmied right before he got that ball? I thought he was going to shoot. That was beautiful. A little pump fake. Yeah. Really important as well, that goal. It's probably just the way the animation was. I don't think I've ever seen fake shots in FM, but that was really cool. It looked nice. And it was another short set piece. Cool. Get that lead back to five, for three goals again. Nice little uh, set piece goal or something. Yeah, like a little body fake. Yeah. I suspect it's not that, but hey, I'm, I'm taking it either way. Nunez. Oh, go on, Quasi. Oh, good block. Uh, it's Control-D, I believe, Tony. 
Uh, Withy, I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to use it. What a weird sentence that is. But generally, I am. Right. Okay. First Champions League win on the board. Look at the key passes from Quasi and Padilla. Both of the treks absolutely trekking. Hello, Viva. Nice. Quite basic in the first iteration. I think it has to be to a certain standard. Otherwise, it'll be a massive letdown. Uh, I think they have... And I trust that they'll... As we know, given that this was announced last June, and they'd clearly been working on it for a while before then, um, I'm not sure whether they actually said that. Because they did... T yeah, I don't know how much was said publicly or not. Either way, um, they've been... Yeah, I, I trust them to get it right. Damage neck?! I don't think I've ever seen damaged neck as an injury before. I mean, it, th that's happening, I guess. That's a... He's broken his neck, chat. Uh -huh. Got a love bite. A vampire came out of nowhere. Yeah, what did he do? Was he trying to catch the ball in his, like, the little neck crease here? Yeah, actually, good question. Let's go and see. I bet you... Oh, hello. FM. What what are we doing? FM? What the fuck? <laughs> that is not a particular hallway I've been forced down before. Yeah, I'm going to watch the injury. If, I, if only I could get to the damn thing. Right, I've got to go to the next day. Otherwise, it won't let us go back into the match properly. There we go. Right, let's try that again. I, that's a new one for me. Uh, what the fuck is it doing now? There we go. Uh, right. Into the game. It's literally just going to be him, him catching a ball and then just going down injured. Oh, dear. Oh, so here we go. Ball crosses in. Not the most realistic thing. Definitely do need a bit of uh, unity for that one. Yeah, I think the strikers absolutely murked him there. Var, anybody? Doing a few sit-ups. Yeah, you're going to just stretch his neck off, innit? Um, okay. That's the one thing I'm really looking forward to in unity, is player collisions. I think we could have a lot of fun with that, especially if we can mess with stuff in the editor. Right, who are Amber playing? Did I miss anything there? Oh, yeah, we're going to do the goalkeeper thing. But first, let's find out what happens to Hammer. Where are they? Oh, I hope we get Stonegrass. Never mind. They're going to lose. Hello, Jack. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, is it 23 seasons? But you did it. Remember where you were, like... Lovely. Dick's back. Like, I don't know. A month ago? That's awesome. I love that we've seen you turn this around in real time. Right, so Dick's back. Right. Lots of that. No one's having concerns, which makes sense. Set up ice hockey scraps in here. We get the simple function. Yes. We'll find our own version of Matt Rempe. It'll be perfect. Uh, this song is... If you do exclamation mark song, it will just tell you. But it is um, Breaking Benjamin. A song by them. <laughs> Breath. Breath. This is one of my favourite songs when I was like 17. I believe he's actually retired in this save, Bagpus. Uh, right. Oh, that's a shame. Please don't do this to me. Oh, no, Melman. No. I'll check anyway, of course. Be rude not to. Oh, Mr. <laughs> oh, don't tempt me. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, no other Lars. We got our dick back. We did. Right, I'm going to pee first. That way I'm ready to go. Grab myself a Bepis, perhaps, if there's any in the fridge. I think I didn't put any in there, so that's good fun. Then we're going to find this fucking goalkeeper. I do have whiz quizzes prepared, chat, so worry not. I'll return in a momentum.
It was, of course, Ludovic Silvestre. Sadly, couldn't find any Beppis. Tis a sad day for all of us. Mostly me. But I have brought more further hydration, which is the most important thing. Right. Okay. Um. Hello, Williams. So, step one. I feel like a private detective chat. First thing we want to do is get rid of any stuff and just look at goalkeepers no age ranges no transfer statuses fuck it accomplished at goalkeeper just in case bro's on the link no i, could, I didn't put any beppis in the fridge it would be amazing if the first player that comes up is just the guy the thing is you won't be able to tell us if that's him actually no how about this you obviously can't tell me if it's him right but if i find a guy and i'm like this is him and i'm dead certain would you then confirm it but i can only do it once if I use it on one and it's wrong, then I can never do it again. Okay. If you sign a man, I can... Okay, yeah, that makes sense, actually. Because then we'd have to put our money where our mouth is. Good point. 123 players called up for international duty. Hell yes! That's... Even I've not done that yet. I think the most we've had is 78. What are we looking for? So... Trigger. Trigger United. Heart. Thank you very much for the three months. Hadrian ensures me that there is a goalkeeper in here who is ridiculous. Uh, so, let's get goalkeeping import up first uh i'm gonna use goalkeeper d because it's the most default one in fact it might be the only one i have as it goes <laughs> oh minus 123 christ how many players have you got i love it they can be jealous okay so do you think chat that some kind of uh age restrictions should apply because I feel like he's not going to be a 30-year-old. I feel like he's going to have to be a bit younger, but I don't want to go too young just in case we accidentally eliminate him. I think we've got to go 30 or under just to narrow it down a bit. I want to leave it like that just on the off chance that there is an absolute monster in there. Let's actually see if there's any guys we've scouted already out of interest. Youth caps, maybe? But he might not have got them. This is season 14. Valley restriction. Yeah. Uh, I'll put the value restriction, but I will keep it like quite high. Yeah, like... Hang on, sorry, the game's being weird. Oh, I've got to let it search first. There we go. I'll put the value restriction at like 4 million. That way it keeps... because I don't know how it does the ranges. That Joel... Sa he does look quite good, doesn't he? Right. So that's a little bit of a lot of those guys. What about this guy? Malma. Jibril Fall. Um, he's quite good, isn't he? <laughs> Actually, let's get an idea of what Freitas looks like, firstly. Take top over ranges. That's what I was concerned about. Yeah, and I'm worried that it might be one of those ones where it's like 250k to 9 million. Freitas is... Okay, wow, he's better than I thought he was. Every time I look at him, he gets better. So he'd have to be really fucking excellent. I feel like Swedish is... Oh, for God's sake, FM. Is he going to do this every time we click on a goalkeeper? Okay, so we've narrowed it down a little bit. It's this guy here who no that's the goalkeeper we're already looking at find similar players yeah that doesn't work unfortunately uh not in the way that you would hope it would do uh, do you remember the whole like, big thing we had with that a little while ago oh, bloody hell he just left the chat after once <laughs> no it's not narrow yet it would be funny as fuck if it was the venezuelan guy um I want to just start to see if there's any standout guys. <sighs> For Egyptians. Because <laughs> as we know, Hadrian only acknowledges the, 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 the existence of Egyptians. Also, hello, random 28-year-old Asmashali goalkeeper who's not horrendous. Federico Lasso. Now, also, with some of these guys, we won't know their values. He 
he's quite good isn't he he's, he's, he's actually quite um, he, uh, fred lasso here is actually quite good um 25 1.1 million pounds i mean i kind of want to sign him anyway because he's quite good We could try the as Jolly guy, true, yeah. It'd be rude not to sign him. But like, I'm going to sign him anyway. Um, but I'm not going to go any further than that. I, I, I'm sorry, I am going to go further than that. I don't know if that's him. <laughs> We're going to win so many goalkeepers, none of them are the guy that Adrian wants us to sign. That'd be kind of better in a way. Because then we'd gain, we would still gain from it. It was not him. Fuck. Either way, he's still really good and I actually quite like him. <laughs> There's profit in him, so I'm not too concerned. The Swedish guy, I don't know if the Swedish guy's him. I think the other guy's better than the Swedish guy. Hello, Admiral. I think the Swedish guy was worse. We're going to have so many goalkeepers, it's going to be brilliant. As if we don't... Hey, we'll never have a goalkeeping injury crisis again, chat. So, yeah, we are searching for someone, but we just don't know who it is. <laughs> um, do a mass scout. Oh, I hate this thing on a hammer. It does this. Chris K25, thank you Back for the, to the full bloody year. Hope you're feeling better, you throat goat. <laughs> I'm getting there, Chris. I'm getting there. I may not sound it, but I'm getting there. Ooh. With the multi sleeve with goalkeepers. True. For Wonder Kids. Uh, minimum attributes. The problem is if we don't know the minimum attributes, it will exclude players who have like a price. So they have a range between like um, 9 and 16. If if you set minimum of 11, it will eliminate one with the 9 and 16 as far as I'm aware. That's why I don't use filters very often. A Cameroonian called Messi. Oh yeah, there is actually. He's decent, but that and that suggests that it's not him. He said he's a main goalkeeper for his team. I don't think Hadrian did say that, though. That's the thing. I think he actually said the opposite of that. Hmm. Anyone else around this area? Random guy at Bristol Rovers. What are we looking for? Well, we don't know. Uh, this is the thing. Uh, he wasn't playing in the Sairi, so we know it's not that Dino Zagreb guy. Right. Max wage, maybe. It could... Mm. Mm. Near freight test levels. No, there is a way to search similar to, but unfortunately it doesn't work properly. Uh, there is literally an option called that, but we tried this before and it actually is useless. <laughs> they don't even have a third choice goalkeeper. It's weird, but they don't. Uh, right. Huh. National teams. We could try... Not nationality, what we're doing. Just anyone with a national cap. And then look at like, youth caps or something. Media description. Now, the problem is, you would only see that if you know their media description, which you won't, as far as I know, that isn't immediately revealed. We could check, though. Oh, actually, can you even search for that? I don't think you can even search for media description, can you? I'm not sure the game lets you do that. That's media handling style. I don't think you can purely search by media description, can you? Be a bit cheaty if you could, honestly. So I'm kind of glad that you can't. Right. Okay, so that narrows it down massively. If we do international caps. Oh, no, hidden. That makes sense. So there's Aoki here. Who's pretty decent. Edit the filter to search. Oh, really? So, like... Oh, put a column. Ah, true, yeah. <laughs> Most of which is a instinctive goalkeeper or goalkeeper. Um, although, let me just get rid of the international cap thing for a moment. See if there is any uh, world-class goalkeepers. Young goalkeepers... I realize there's 3,000 players here. Towering goalkeeper, nomadic, late developer. 
Okay, it's good to know that that's in there. You see the guy called Sinister? I think, isn't that the rest of them right there? That's all just goalkeepers from now on, isn't it? Maybe there isn't actually a media description of world-class goalkeeper. I've never actually paid much attention to it. The promising goalkeepers. Okay. Uh, we go back up again. There definitely is. Okay, that's cool. Let's just try and get to like where the hell this is going to be. Right, so there's young goalkeepers. Towering goalkeeper. Oh, yeah, promising goalkeeper. Yeah. It's weird how the promising ones are all ones that we have knowledge of, which makes me wonder if the media description is different depending on your scouting knowledge. Because it's weird that it just so happens that five guys that we have scouting knowledge of happen to be promising goalkeepers, which is really odd. It's worth 4.4 million. Ah, true. You're right. What led to this goose chase is Hadrian basically telling me that... Because basically, sometimes I send Hadrian copies of this database so that he can do tests and things. But obviously, he doesn't tell me stuff that's in it for obvious reasons. Um, but he let slip that there's a goalkeeper in it that's apparently really good. And now we're just seeing... I basically said to him, right, if we could find him, <laughs> I now want to see if we could find that goalkeeper. No matter. I think it means that they play, like, uh, they play around a little bit. Uh, so those guys we already looked at. You can filter my media description, can you? Intriguing. Had a lot of clubs, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what to search for next. This is the problem. Because these guys here, I feel like they'll just be a... It'll instantly look... They'll instantly stand out to us, right? I'm just looking for anyone who's got kind of blue attributes. <laughs> I do like that Federico Lasso guy. Syrian dude here? Hello. Oh, he's 28, though. I wonder if the age is set too high. I don't think he'd be as old as that. I wonder if we could scout this down a little bit more by making him, like, maximum of 26, like you guys suggested in the first place. We haven't taken into account. Cooper, 20 is plenty filter. The problem is, I am with over he may not have 20s. And it will, it, potentially, if we knew more about him, it might actually discount him instead of, like, include him. Mike Zhao! Thank you very much for the follow. Actually know how to eye test world class. But maybe it had a, had the moniker, perhaps. I don't know. Don't have knowledge of him at all. It could be that. It could be that he's, like, He's like 23, but he plays in like Myanmar. And as a result, we just simply have zero knowledge of even his existence. Too low. We could try a bit more. I mean, there's no real harm in going up to like seven or eight. It's actually not going to add that many more players to this, in fairness. You can see that the only one that's added here is this guy, who's a 20 year old, who's not actually amazing. Okay, you're talking pure attributes. Egyptian. Chat, there's an Egyptian. Is it? <laughs> I found an Egyptian. <laughs> Look at the national team goalkeepers. We could just switch back the international cap clause again. Because that'll get us the same guys. If they've actually played, at least. It's a Northern Irish dude here at Barcelona, which is wild. Hello, Chuck. How's it going? How did the esports event go? Or was that tonight? Um, it's very, very late for me. I've been ill lately, so I forget. Saudi dude, Greek dude. Not bad. Also, Nick King is just a great name. Lost through to the grand final. Hey, you got to the grand final. Or was that the grand final? Nation at the moment, it is 12th. 75 grand a week, though. Uh, Dulev. Bulgarian. Where am I missing a Bulgarian? Oh, this guy here. He's not bad, is he? This season from Linfield. Wait. Oh, oh, they didn't just steal an absolute goat, did they? Oh my god. I know that's not him, but like, fuck me. Barca would have absolutely. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, just out of interest. Might just start scouting Linfield. 
He was better, Jesus. Described as the next Nick Pope. Wait, that was the first team. We'll just get their, uh, get all of them. Why not? Yeah, Mad Obscure would be intriguing. Romanian guy there. Might be a little expensive. H Honda Isaac, uh, Holland. With, without any hesitation. Um, let's see. Jafar? There's a Jafar. I do like a Jafar. Oh, it's definitely not him. Hmm. Scottish guy Nick Mackay. Chilean dude here. Franco Kid. 25, though. Stats are better. Um. Sorry, I had no idea that. I mean, okay, sure. Um. Yes, I would still choose Erling Haaland over Alexander Izak currently. Yes, I would. Yes. Um, that man that scored like 50 goals uh, in all competitions last season, I would probably still take him over one player having a good patch of form at the moment. I really like Alexander Izak. I think he's fantastic. But given the choice between which one I would put in my team, I would still choose Erling Haaland. Yes. <laughs> Jafar, is he a biscuit? Well, that is a good question. Yeah. Um, let's see. Slovak guy? Masala. I wonder if he's going to be more like the... Mitchell Mitchell Haaland. Definitely Haaland. <laughs> Mm. But if I, I don't think we're going to find him. And I think Hadrian wouldn't have said this if he thought we were going to find him. The Sweet Four, we have looked at the Sweet Four. We actually... Oh, no, hang on. Did I just get him? He's the League Two player. It's true, yeah. Um, Algeria, Japan. Uruguayan dude. It's 21. Messi only catamol. Oh, the catamol every time. Obviously, someone needs their legs broken. They're not going to break themselves, are they? Uh, right. I don't think we're going to find him. Did you do that? <laughs> Adrian, you challenged me. You, you created a scenario in which I could win. And f tie, maybe? Nah. <laughs> oh, the other thing is, Hadrian said that he signed him, which means that he has to have been interested. Right? Oh, it's been great vibes, yeah. It's the exact kind of distraction. Adrian's <laughs> goalkeeper is that near his wall. Hang on, you said there was a San Marinese guy at Sassuolo. Ooh. Um, right, let me just finish this. I will go back to the lookups because that's intrigued me. Hungarian dude? No, that's too obvious. Mali, East 25. Not bad, actually, but no physicals. Finnish dude. Wow, that's a Finnish dude's not bad, is he? Carlo Neuer. Uh, probably take Manuel Neuer on account of him playing football currently and being a professional. It's still technically playing football. I feel like Oliver Kahn's probably not in the shape that he used to. Actually, for all I know, he probably is, right? Moldova? Nah, he's not even close. I just got water in my... I think you actually can prime some on phones, but it's really... Yeah. Very pernickety. Uh, what has been not potential? No, no, because he said he was as good as Freitas. And so that would be attributes. My concern is that it's going to be a guy that we simply don't have enough knowledge of. Prime Khan versus Prime Law. I don't know. I find those sort of discussions almost a little bit pointless, really. Um, it's like whenever you see the whole like Messi versus Ronaldo or we do this, I'm just like, I don't... I, it's never something that I've ever wanted to allocate any brain power to, to thinking about a lot of the time, just because it doesn't actually matter that much, right? Uh, it's a lot of these sort of hypothetical questions that are just... I understand that they're going to create a debate. It's the sort of thing you see on, like, football Twitter and that kind of stuff, and I've just never been particularly interested in the outcomes or answers of them. Stanley Mungega? Oh, dear. Ah, uh, Quick Blitz, thank you very much for the follow. Hello, Dan. Yeah, we're keeping, yeah, particularly with the way that keepers... Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. We should set, like, a minimum value, maybe. Maybe youth cap? I think I might have to hold the hands up and just say that I don't think I could find it. I reckon I'm not going to... Obviously, I'm not going to let this go. Like, I will be looking... <laughs> I will be looking after stream. I can assure you of that. Opt the caps out. The problem is... Hang on, I want to look at this guy first quickly. So, Gambler, can he choose to show... Yeah. Oh, someone had a contract soon? No, I mean... This guy's not even that bad, actually, as it goes. New England Patriots, thank you very much for the 16 months. How are you, my friend? Oh, mate, yeah, literally. If I'd have known this on Thursday, I'd have been all over it. 
Vicente Poggy shop. I'm, I think his middle name is like... Yeah, I turn up Sunday with like bags the size of sacks under my eyes. Did I say... Christ. <laughs> Two million. I think he said he was... Oh. Am I paying out of contract soon? Oh. All right, one last idea. Remember James Bond. I don't really like James Bond, honestly. It's... I... Uh, I think Casino... I actually quite enjoyed Casino Royale just because of the poker scenes and stuff. It was... It was all right. Never been, like, hugely into it, honestly. Uh, let's see. So there's 400 goalkeepers that meet these requirements. Let me get rid of the... That, just in case it's, like, missing things. Hmm... Literally, the only reason I'm doing this, Dan, is because I felt a challenge. Finish one. Yes, we did. Yeah. Aoki. Also, Gift Zulu. Solid name. Uh, did we already look at Aoki? I swear we did. Liam Skinner at Northampton Town. It's not even that bad. Uh, random Colombian dude. Oh, oh, random Colombian dude. Hosimar Carvajal. Okay. Takashi Aoki. Oh, this guy here. Oh. He's 26, though. But yes, he's pretty good, too. We'll get him scouted up. Sorry, there was another... I swear there was another guy I looked at earlier who was also called Aoki. Uh, this guy called, oh, yeah, there is Arturo Macaroni. Great name. Not him. Definitely not him. Uh... Now, what am I even sorting this by at the moment? Is this sorting by the bottom value? It is, isn't it? <laughs> See you later, Chuck. I <sighs> said uh, so the same guy. Okay, fair enough. Austrian dude. Oh, how about Mark Dick? It's great to have him here. Iranian dude. Oh, we've still got two more Champions League games to get through today. I don't think it's either of those two. I don't think it's either. Ah, oh, I have a horrible feeling it's just going to be a guy that we simply don't know if he exists or not. As in, he's just a player that's not going to show up when we search for him. But we're getting Fred Lasso. So if nothing else comes out of this, Fred Lasso comes out of this. And I think he's a really solid backup. Yeah, none of them looked Freitas level good. Now, obviously, I mean, Hadrian's obviously not saying he's exactly the same as Freitas, but Freitas level. I, I imagine Hadrian found him by using FMRTE because, or something like that, because a lot of what he tests and stuff is things to do with CAs and PAs of players and how they line up and stuff. So that's why, obviously, he can't tell me the specifics. Hammer and Drew with Sturm Gratz. Next gen archives. No, you can't actually. Um, you can only look at the 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 winner in the top two or top three or something each time. It's annoying. Uh, so Hammer, and, yeah, they're they're not doing well, are they? You didn't find him by cheating. Interesting. But if you've been playing ahead because of testing and tendencies, that makes me wonder if it's a player that would have naturally come through a scout report for you. That that means they might naturally come through for me as well, potentially. He said, hoping and praying. It's definitely none of these guys here. Find some other players. We'll try you know what? Yeah, fuck it. It is one of the dumbest things, the way that this system works, but it why not, right? Uh so the way that find some other players works, basically, is Wait, imagine if this actually worked. It just picks random things for the role that your player plays and just does that. The problem is it just excludes so many use useful attributes. And that's the problem. And it brings you loads of these players here who are just old. Um, who the f Wait. What club is that? Wait a fucking second. Oh, it's Al Tal. God damn it. I got excited for a second there. Did it bring... Oh, it did bring us Marvin Ashvili. Yeah, you're right. We'll add age. We're like 28. 
There's six guys. Okay, so there's that guy that we already looked at from Chile, and there's also this guy, Patricio Cevalos. Who who the hell? Mushuk not a club I've ever heard of. Montsevich. Yeah, so he was He's definitely a player I'm interested in. I'm surprised he's actually still in Mexico. Uh he might be worth going looking at again anyway, but it's definitely it can't be him, right? Because of the uh the wage and the um value. And his contract's not up yet, is it? No. Wait, hang on. Wait a minute. Yes, it is. Oh no, it's next year. Yeah, he was the next gen lad. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. God damn. This is gonna this is one of those things that's gonna bug me. Get rid of throat. Yeah. Nah, because if you post it on the Discord, then people would see it and I'd see it. Um, Mexican dude. No, it can't be the Mexican dude because he's 13 million pounds. <laughs> You'll get. Yeah, it won't be from me, though, Hedge. It'll be from other people. Swedish so guy at the beginning. Yeah, we scouted him as well, but I don't think. It, I just don't think it is him. I don't think he's as good as Freitas. What is Freitas really good at? Reflexes. Throwing is actually very, very high. Yeah, but the thing is, the 20 is plenty thing won't. What if it's the ranges between what's it and 19? It will just exclude them. That's why I find... 20 is plenty is brilliant for broad scouting, but it's not great for specifics. Oh, dear. Oh, great. More injuries. That's actually really bad. Contract is running out. Like, yeah, it could be. There's so many things that it could be. Uh, who? Watch this guy already have that. Overlaps. Focus this plate. Right, nope. Then off you go, Andre. It's going to cost us 30 grand to make it happen. <laughs> See you later, fair cakes. Ooh. What should we just randomly come up on one of these reports now? Oh, that would be insane, wouldn't it? Has that tendency? Really? Oh, wow. That's actually crazy. Squad unhappy with the Melbourne situation. Uh, well, I say squad. Random players that don't play very often in the squad so we've got to find that the problem is without being able to directly search for them it's almost impossible for us to find them without looking at like every unless there is a way that we can search for them directly uh play him or lose him cheers man who isn't playing also <laughs> like yeah we're talking about the tendency thing if have you found out a way to actually search for that it's a tendency to use loan market we wonder if by bringing in coaches with that tendency it might allow us to get them to other clubs Four in 20 minutes. Oh, my Lord. Uh, well, big win again there for the under 19 squads. But then again, Zhang Dong sucks playing in it, so that will probably help him. The, to be fair, our team report luck today, as you say, has been genuinely insane. It feels like almost every team report we've looked in has had a five-star player in it. Kadri, wow. He is developing into a genuinely amazing footballer. Which is exciting. Uh, we are getting the guy from Mauritius. Lovely news. Yeah, that'd be cool, Hedge, just to get them in. It's not like it's going to really benefit us directly, but it will be useful for the save. Uh, let's see. Wait, you're getting under... What are you kind of crap? All right. I do still like that guy. Team Kadri came from... Uh, yes. Yeah. Because I think that's how we found him initially, was from team reports of that team. I believe he... Ooh. I'm now going to immediately be, like, looking straight towards goalkeepers whenever we do any of these team reports, especially of, like, uh, slightly larger teams. Part of me wants to just set up a random recruitment focus solely for goalkeepers, but I'm just worried about slowing the game down anymore. Oh. Won't you kind of crap? Oh, I'm always kind of crap. <laughs> uh, let's see. So Galatas Rise is not for another 17 days. We can play whoever here, really. But I would still like to give a bit more time to Krastev. Honestly. And Roy. It seems rude not to, if anything. We could... I think you're right, Thomas, yeah. We'll get rid of Roy's boys, because it's not a single player has ever come through it. Guy doing good. I, I'd say he's doing good, yeah. Currently, anyway. Uh, Duda, was that that midfielder that we kind of like the look of? I swear there was another guy at Palmyras we were looking at, but... Anyway, <laughs> I swear we spent ages looking for this guy. I swear it was like 10 million or is that a different dude at Palmeiras? Right. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely keep a note of him. So if we don't sign him, or if he goes to a massive team, you can then just be like, well, because we're never going to sign him at that point. Yeah, literally. We'll lose a penalty shootout to him, and Hadrian will just pop up and be like, that's him. Ask the guy. Right. Uh, what was that? Ooh, I just spilled water all over myself. That's what I was going to do. Get rid of the Roy's boys thing. Okay. Goalkeeper. Uh, transfer. Yeah. Ongoing. Areas all. Don't include those. Uh, can I just do like any role? There we go. That's fine, because replacement for... Oh, intriguing. I've never used that functionality before, but I'm curious about it. Hmm. That has me intrigued. I, I didn't know that existed either, because I've never paid that much attention to it. Get man, no, he, he won't know. We'll do it in the back end. Um, uh, fuck it. The masked keeper. There we go. Right, Indian goalkeepers now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Adrian's Wally. That's that's way better than what I just said. I went for the masked goalkeeper because of the mystery element of things. Now it's any position. Oh shit! I haven't just made it any. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I'm a moron. You're right, I have, haven't I? Right. Replacement for... Why did it reset that? Why does it keep resetting that? Right. Wait, did I just create a new one or did I just edit the one I... There we go. Right. Do I have to, like, delete it and redo it? That's very strange. Right, okay. Back to that. Replacement for Gonzalo Freitas. Transfer. Keep the age range as it is, because who cares? Actually, yeah, we probably should put an age range of, like, 29, just to be safe. Goalkeepers clicked. Replacement for ongoing. Areas all. Uh, we don't want that. You can't do control which is annoying. The fuck is all that? What the fuck is that? What the hell? What the fuck was that about? I'm <laughs> what in the fuck was that? Hang on, I'm just going to go to a different tab and just do control V. Was that just something that was saved in my... Nope, I have nothing on my clipboard. <laughs> that is so bizarre. Did FM just have a heart attack there? Uh, okay, right, try that again. Replacement for Gonzalo Freight. This should not be taking this long. Uh, 29. Ongoing. Dis disregard. Right, have I de-clicked anything here? Right, now we just encoded it. Uh, chat, this is caused by the game. This isn't me. This is in here by default because of the game. It's the replacement thing. I Fuck it. That's our new recruitment folk. <laughs> Can I? Oh, yeah. Right. That's so weird. Right. Hadrian's Wally. Ongoing. Right. I just want to make sure I haven't dicked about with it any further. There we go. Right. Hadrian's Wally is set. I love that it's already got a guy in there. That's a strike on that. Cool. That's very strange. Yeah, they're doing some they're doing a seance to try to summon a goalkeeper from the uh from the depths. I guess it's because no one's ever looked for the find replacement option, I guess. Watch it not find a single player when there should be tons, even if they're not great. There should still be players, right? Yeah, at least we found Fred Lasso. That's one good thing that came out of it. You're right, it's definitely those logo packs. Chat, if we were playing on a vanilla database, none of this would have happened. Oh, it might be time for another puff of Corvonia, I think. I hadn't anticipated how... I've barely said anything for like six days, so just 
intense speaking today has not helped Watara with the Hattie. Nice. Ugh. Oh, God. It's like inhaling petrol. How do I find out what tactics work? Um, the best way is just to play. Like, test them out. What I tend to do is if I'm saying I'm starting a new save and it's a brand new season, I'll schedule some friendlies against really bad teams over the course of the summer and slowly increase the quality of the teams I'm playing against over the course of the summer. That way I can start off by getting a tactic that just works well against shit teams. So you get an idea of how it's going to play in an ideal environment in like a hermetically sealed lab. Then slowly test it against, stress test it against better opposition. And then you'll find the weaknesses and you can slowly strengthen it like that. Um, that's, I really should make a video about this. It genuinely is just a case of me not wanting to have to deal with the absolute avalanche of um actuallys if I was to make a, ta a video about tactics in some way. Bluenos, thank you very much for the eight months. Finally, man one to zero technology. Yes, take that Asimov or something. <laughs> Hang on, he's gone up in determination. God, I could just look at Roy forever. I feel like he's the next player I tend to write a love song about after Yuri Krop might be Roy Fleming. One day I'm still going to track down that music video. Because I cannot for the life of me find the damn thing. Broken upper arm. He's following very nice, yeah. Racing Club. What we got? Any goalkeepers by any chance? I'm just going to check these guys because he's all right. Oh, it'd be so good. But I'm telling you, I still think what happens is Roy eventually just declares for Malta. Right. Well, there are some, like, lower league English sides that have youth intakes of different nationalities. I believe there is a Romanian one in the Essex Senior League. I can't remember what the name of the club is, but I believe it's the Essex Senior League. There is a club that only has Romanian... FC Romanian! Well, well, imagine my shock. <laughs> they really thought about that. Um, but yeah, so that, that is a thing that you can do, but I think it's only hard-coded. I'm not even sure if it's something you can do in the editor, is it? So Carrero who is, I believe, that guy... Yes, the he literally is the best player in the game, for sure. I've never seen a player that has more blue attributes than Henrique Guerrero, so thoroughly deserves the win there. Anyone... Not that we're going to have anyone on this list, are we? But it's nice to see Regents finally starting to be on here. Or to Dragons, yes. Individual card. Okay, cool. The only reason I know this um, about FC Romania is because when I first started playing FM, obviously I downloaded a, a local... Local database? Like a, a database that had, like, lower leagues on, and obviously I being from Essex, wanted to play with, like, local teams there, you know? And a cracking save with Stansted. Uh, Mike Paleo has hurt himself, that's unfortunate. Where I will be next week when I fly out to Copenhagen. Uh, let's see. Fleming Progress again? Jesus. He's just... He's just very good, isn't he? Leading development, obviously. Always ready out of 20s. Oh, imagine it's a Bolivian goalkeeper. I keep expecting every time we have one of these reports now to just see the guy. Yeah, I don't know how the program... I think it's hard-coded. I am alive, Harv. Much to your chagrin. And we're getting Fred Lasso. I realise his name is Federico Lasso, but we're signing Fred Lasso. Really having it, Harv. You have no idea. I'm like a full pig farm of ham right now. Braintree. Yeah. Used to work in Braintree. Didn't go near the football ground as it happens. Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, wait. Okay, well, we're definitely scouting him because it's a 16-year-old goalkeeper, but it's definitely not him. Only Moroccan players. That'd be kind of cool. Have you considered doing one in Morocco? <laughs> or are you thinking of doing it outside Morocco? Tenerico Lasso. I think we just literally call him Fred Lasso. Can I nickname him? Yeah, I can, can't I? I'm just going to change his name to Fred Lasso. There we go. Fred Lasso. Clearly said, you're right, sorry. It's it's always been Fred Lasso. I don't know what you're talking about. Do not question it. Banger Andorans. Interesting. I guess it's because they are technically based there, aren't they? So the only players called Ross within the SPL <laughs> Ross County. That's great. That's brilliant. It's almost like the team of team of Toms. Wait, did I spell him wrong? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, most of them... But don't be afraid to change the rules. Like like I always say, fun over everything else. Right? Don't be afraid to mess with the rules. 
all this like nonsense with this goalkeeper has now got me scanning more clubs. The best ref of Ronaldo Messi is Zlatan. Uh, surely Zlatan. Purely because of the like what's I looking for here? Like his I've why can I not think of the word? Not ego. But I mean, yes, that too. Wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, but he has a kind of... Gra oh, grandi... No, not grandiosity. There's another... Oh, it's annoying. Wait. Now, now Jean Dong Sok gets a cap for South Korea, but didn't when he was actually playing standard. Aura? No. Um, I feel like it begins with a G. Grandiose is not the word I'm looking for. Or oh, Gusto? No, it's... Gravitas! That's it, Gravitas. That's what I was thinking of. And now that I hear it out loud, it doesn't even really make that much sense. But it was Gra- Girth I like. It was Gravitas was what I was thinking of. Exactly. He would have that kind of... Gravitas. <laughs> if only there was a linguist, indeed. A man who knows about the schwa. Seven attributes. Seen it before. Um... There are certain attributes that can still continue to improve. In fairness. Great body, great body, yeah. You're a DM, aren't you? Yeah. I just can't wait to see some stuff for this. Aww. I feel like these have been a bit sketchy. Like, oh, finally! It's been a while. I mean, unfortunately, it's found us two players. One who's definitely not going to be playing for this club, and he's on loan from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Frustrating. And then, obviously, Jean-Marie Cosset who oh god he's filthy and he but um yeah <laughs> sadly not every contact will be a foul yeah true it wouldn't take the same bleed. yeah no but that's the thing i feel like you wouldn't argue with latan because you'd lose that would be kind of funny actually if um you receive like a red card you were then forced to take a refereeing course and do a match as a referee to, no, no. If you're sent off for abuse of an official or dissent, you're then forced to do a refereeing course as part of it. It's like when you get done for uh, like when you get like a speeding offence and you have to go on like a driver awareness course. I reckon that would be really fun though. And then they're forced to referee a game. So I think what would happen to us if I actually put a bid on the guy is probably because he's on a youth contract. So you could technically try and sign him, but he'd demand huge wages and a really high squad status. And then they'd probably just sign him onto a new contract. That's what I've noticed with those guys. That's why I tend to ignore them. Weirdly, it's better to actually let them sign a contract and then try and sign them off of them. Force referee. Yeah, exactly. Player to ref pipeline. And I think that could help. Like, if you're a dick to a referee, you are forced to do a referee training course and then have to referee a game. Like, obviously not at a super high level, of course. That would be silly. But, yeah. And then, ironically, the players who hate refs the most would end up becoming the best referees. Because they're the ones that have had the training. I'd be totally down for that. Uh, nationals? You got sent off against Saudi Arabia. Silly boy. Right, so we've got Galatasaray up soon. Oh, he's getting goals now. Look at him go. Oh, who's getting caps for the Ivory Coast now? Oh, Davy Cloud. Fair play. Roy Keane on the side of the pitch. Yes, exactly. Get the real idea of it. Then we have the 100 more. That's really interesting. Because I have noticed our TV money has been going up, surprisingly, in this. The big... Made it harder for, to build a nation. Um, I think it's easier. Because of the lack of clubs dropping down. So it means that it's easier for your sides to have success in the the lower competitions. Whereas before, you just get sides dropping out of the Champions League and absolutely cleaning up there. And that was an issue. Now, you obviously get the downside of your teams can't drop down. But I feel like overall, it's a net positive. Like I don't think it's a coincidence that last year in the, the MTK save, we got so many teams winning. Like we had Europa League wins for the first time. And what was it? About eight Conference League titles? Incredible. Find a goalkeeper. We didn't. We found a goalkeeper who we have now signed up um but i've kind of put it on the back burner for the time being i'm gonna have a deep dive after stream like look through like specific scout reports go through it just looking at numbers and see if i can find it but i think that it's going to be a case of it's like that guy that as in i think it's gonna be a player that we simply don't know it's ex we don't know of their existence and as a result we wouldn't be able to find him anyway 
But part of me feels like we might just randomly stumble upon him, given that's how Hadrian found him. So if he could stumble upon him, so could we. This is my logic. So it might be one of those things where best things come to those who wait. And in the meantime, we've signed Fred Lasso. So in a way, we've still come out of it with a net positive. And we've also set up a recruitment focus just in case. See, oh, dude, if he went to Birkin Kara, that'd be incredible. Sweetie are doing surprisingly well considering they've literally lost their best player this window. But I guess all those random loadies we gave them have certainly helped. Coach Beard, we can find him. Did you check? Yeah. I, I will figure out a logical way to narrow it down. I'm not entirely sure what that logic is yet, but I will get it. Right. We want up front. We want Roy Fleming. Yes, we do. That's the guy. Oh, it'll be a blessed day. I just reckon I can find him. I don't know if I manager on a course. I haven't actually, but I should. You're right. We'll put Melman in for the time being. Hello, questionable penguin. How's it going, man? How's Emma and the Babby? Let's see. Uh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Jim. You fixed it. <laughs> but what I like about that is that's almost like on par with the logic that you get. You know when we like lose a big player and so it's like, just sign a replacement. <laughs> it's, it's great, though. Oh, we need that setting. Um, Right. We'll do Nunez there. Kamga... And Markovic is fine. It's interesting that my assistant has actually started to... I'm still going to go with Krastev and then Lahovi. Palacio for the big day. Espino... Putting the no in Espino... Well, well done, Matt. Rob Hilton it is. Oh, I finally thought... Oh, yeah, sorry, Gile. Yep. Thank you for constantly reminding me about that. I actually do need that because... Oh. Got to be careful with him. Tunkara, Gwikune. Exactly. I know where he lives. I've sent him parcels to his house. I'll just sneak into his house when he's not there. Or when he's doing renovations, doing his DIY. I have his address. <laughs> I think. I must do, right? Uh, let's see. And he happens to live on. <laughs> I'll blackmail him and be like, I know where you live. And I'll tell chat. Uh, I would never do that. Obviously. Um... That'll do. It's only a bar. We want to save the, the fresh leggies for uh, Galatasaray. Okay, that'll do. Good thing about the Gala game is it's at home as well. Um, so getting that Zagreb win followed by Galatasaray would really just sort of help us. 2-1. Okay, narrow, but we get the result. Nunez with that and an own goal. But again, Krastev played well. Didn't get an assist, which again means there must be key passes and XA coming at least for him. How's he still doing on that? So Lahovi's still at 0.64. And now his minutes compared to Palacio are actually kind of getting fairly close. Against obviously weaker opposition. But Krastev's again, it's coming down a little bit. But, but there's going to be a conversation there is what I'm saying. Foul-smelling pasta on his porch. <laughs> I'm not bringing half with me. I'm not a madman. I'm okay, Brody. I mean, broadly speaking, so to speak, um, still unwell, but I can speak, which is the main thing. I've just typed in Coach Beard. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to type in Coach Beard and see what happens. What about Eddie Beach? 33-year-old toddler Eddie Beach. Leaked his address. <laughs> You're not wrong, yeah. Christ, the thing is, I just don't know if we can, uh, particularly as I've just played them in this one. Um, were I to have thought that before the game, I maybe could have done it, but not now, because they'll be knackered. Ooh. Lots of jerseys to look at. I do kind of like that. That's pretty sick. Oh, my. It's over the top, but I do kind of rate it. This one less keen on. I feel like it's going to go a bit... You just won't be able to find it, right? It's good. Nah, I prefer this one. I like that one. That's kind of dope. Uh, yeah, get that guy coaching. What was his name? Who was that guy? The under-19 manager guy. Oh, that's... Well, it'd be good if I was looking at the under-19s, wouldn't it? Uh, wait, how do I even get to our under-19 stuff? Is it... Oh, it's Dev Center, isn't it? There we go. Uh, it is... Where is he? 
There we go, moving on. Coaching course. Watch the board say no. <laughs> Same kids over and over. Yeah, but does anyone else... Maybe this is just me. Does anyone else feel like sometimes the the market and stuff surrounding football kits now has got a bit annoying like clubs releasing kits so often and so like obviously pandering in terms of like the styles to the point where it's like the whole thing that about them was clubs would produce some cool kits sometimes and now all the cool kits just look the same as each other if that makes sense i don't know it feels a little bit like it's already been kind of co-opted and it's become a bit boring very quickly maybe that's just the curmudgeonly uh old man in me when I have some gopping shit, and I prefer the gopping stuff, underpaid. Uh, yeah, we go. Cool. I would just go wild with it. Yeah, like truly off the walls. That would be fantastic. Uh, oh, hello. New manager at Lua. Mark Cheerkop, who is. He is Maltese. I haven't seen that name very often there. Yeah, to be fair, I hate that as well. Uh, I feel like there's a balance to be struck, right? So for the 10th year straight, I guess this year. <laughs> uh, they didn't say no. They won't let us put our under-19 manager on a coaching course. Like, bruv, we're winning every game no matter what. Oh, there we go. Wow. Maybe it's just because I'm not super interested in football kits. Like, I have a decent amount of them, but... It's mostly just like Fulham shirts and random crap that chat have made me buy off of um, classic football shirts. And my Malta shirts, of course. Hammer drops some points. Okay. Yeah, that goal difference is worrying me. We're, we're, oh, we're actually falling behind slightly. But wait, did you say it was worth 30, 40 million pounds? Oh my god, he hit, wait. So it's definitely affecting some... Nunez is worth 12 million quid. We are definitely getting better on this, aren't we? Not forget, oh, of course. I how could I ever forget my Cheltenham kit? Which I cannot wear on stream uh, without anyone asking me if I'm a Cheltenham fan. Which makes sense. Like, why else would I have a Cheltenham kit, I suppose? Because it's nice. Yeah, I've got I've got two Malta shirts. I've got the home and away kit. Um, I actually bought them before I started the save because they were both on sale on uh, Classic Football shirts. Which is dope. TK, TK Maxx are underrated good for not just like football stuff like that, but like random shit, uh, like F1 merch and even NHL stuff, actually. Like I bought this off of like the official NHL thing because it was on sale. Um, I've got another one coming as well, but I just really wanted some like more up to date Av stuff, basically. DJ Evil Midnight, thank Man, you for the I 20 bucks. I can't make the Sun stream, so I will see you next Tuesday. How what? dare you call me that? What? Stop laughing at me. I am old. I don't know any of your newfangled slang. I hate when everything gets new and fangled. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 22 months, man. I hope you're well. Let's uh, sort out. Well. Uh, to be fair, his def nah, I think he probably could do with staying on that, honestly. Because the positioning is what worries me on him. TK Maxx. Well, don't you be saying that. Uh, <laughs> new Wilco. I haven't been scammed by TK Maxx chat. Yet. Give me a chance. Oh, dear. United Training Show for 15 quid from TK Maxx. Yeah! It's... You can get some good deals. I always go... Like, it's right near M's work, so I always just go in when I can drag her there. Uh, let's see. That dude, a dude, is... Slowly reasonably scouted, but I feel like he feels like a summer pickup. My hot tub has not arrived, I know. It's... <laughs> it's... <laughs> Fucking hell. I saw, when I, spoke, I was, saw my sister at the weekend and she was talking about how um, she, for my birthday she was going to try and get me the tiniest like thing that would still count as a hot tub and then just pretend that it was from Wilco's. The Dubois guy, yeah, I believe... Yeah, so Duran Dubois is a Patreon regen. Um, I don't know why he's actually showing up on our scout reports there. But yeah, so that's that's why. God, he's really good. That'll come in handy for the uh, recap. Right. Any super old players in here other than loads of them? Wait, who? Random dude released by Sheffield United. Definitely worth a trial. Good old Brennan Spink. Interesting name. Probably another, like, face of the game because it's Sheffield United. What if it was the 2000... I don't know. Have you got a picture to hand? Because it definitely, for me, now that I've looked at it, it was definitely Mamaloni Sundowns. I just can't remember exactly which one. 
Right, so there any bad players in there? Ah, there they are. Wow, that... Nah, I'm not having that. These two are surely better than that. I don't trust that. I want full scout. Oh, he's actually extensive. Holy shit. Right. Any more goalkeepers in there before I accidentally go past? Uh, wait. You're really cheap. And amateur. Juan Jose Mania. Oh, he's really bad. Peter! Thank you very much for the three months. How's your Thursday going? Oh, dear. Bad hits. Oh, hello. Thank you for the hundred... What the... If you want to see any bad kits, check this out. I don't know. Part of me, there's a weird part of me that doesn't dislike it. I like how out there it is. I like that they've changed the badge. Cut, I think, and it's sponsored by ice cream. Like, I don't know. That's a hit from me. I'd rather wear that than some pretentious, like, Venezia with the collar up. <laughs> Let's just <laughs> that. No, it looked like a slightly older one, but still. It's meant to hypnotize them, exactly. It's like Hypnotoad. But they've tried something different, and I appreciate that from them, right? Mm. What drugs? I think that's... Is, you feel... You've got to be going for, like, a proper big dose of psilocybin to get that kind of effect, right? Uh, so there's Fred Lasso. So that's our new goal... Well, one of our many new goalkeepers, no doubt. Uh, these guys are not fully scouted yet. What am I doing? I'm wasting their time. That's what I'm doing. Still quite a few minimals in here. These guys have been in this list for ages, man. It's quite good looking players in there, potentially. The other team that licks toads, exactly. See, the kit's a good omen. Pablo Henrique. Oh, we've been looking at him for ages, haven't we? I feel like at some point, if he never leaves, we will end up pulling the trigger on him. But right now is not the time. Halal Khan of Arsenal. Very good player. God, he's 20 years old. We, ha we haven't found the goalkeeper. We found some goalkeepers who might be quite good. But not the... According to Hadrian, anyway, not the guy. Uh, Vericator. I might sh uh, shortlist him. We're not going to be able to sign him yet, so... Ooh. Hello, this is what we want. Yiracator. Perfection. Loan farm. Sensational. Let's look at this one. Uh, okay, so I've seen Hummel. I do tend to like Hummel's kit... I feel like it could have been done so much better. It just feels like not enough effort's gone into the actual design of the design. I don't know. I feel like the fact that the sponsor logos, the logos are kind of blending into it. I guess, yeah, I, I feel like it's, I love the idea, but I don't feel like the, the application of it. Like, I feel like it could look so much better than that. But yeah, it's like, I do love the idea though. But I feel like they haven't really thought about it as much as they could have done. Like, at least get some black outlines on the logos, damn it. 130k for him is great. Uh, Flores is much more expensive, and he's also a winger. With no tackling ability. Okay. Uh, Mori, yeah. Oh, that's the guy from Hibs, isn't he? Really expensive. And most importantly, not a goalkeeper. Who the hell are you? Oh, he's a random guy from... Yeah, we can't sign him. <laughs> These guys are all a bit mid and very expensive as well. 19. Just want to make sure there's no goalkeepers. Oh, it's Macaroni. And you're at Shakhtar. You're not one of those guys, are you? I don't think. Expensive, expensive, cheap, but won't talk to us yet. It's a yet at all, apparently. You're at Luta. Where did you sign him from? Oh, holy shit. Luta just picking up guys from JMG as well. Bloody love to see it. Oh, I'm done with those guys. Uh, we get these kits up as well. Uh, okay, so that's just kind of clean. That might be it. No. No. So it was green with the yellow accent rather than the other way around, if that makes sense. Which makes me wonder, actually, if it... If it's actually... Is it Amtuk's... It could be an away kit. It could be Golden Arrows as well. There's... I think it might be Golden Arrows, actually. Maybe not Mamelody Sundowns. Yeah, because I think it might be Golden Arrows now that I look at this more. 
after being so certain i think it was golden arrows it would be great if they got well i say it would be great it wouldn't be great I'm not bad. Like, yeah but the thing is i'm it's one of those things where um as much as i'm certain of it i saw it at like a, a quick glance maybe it's a wake it could be but i i simply don't know i have to go and track that man down what i saw in stratford and ask him uh you're okay to... i think he'll go for this yes nice and no loan back for you because you're going to be going out and load somewhere else and random late de oh nice so he was actually like a late developer player i love that it's nice to actually see one i never did look up a staff member called beard did i people right jobs we'll ignore the players there's got to be some beard of birdall Pierce, not quite the same. Doctor of Football. There's Roy Van Beers, which is great. Kevin Baird. A few Bairds in there. Yanis Latard. But it does seem as though we are going to be Sans Beard. There's Pierce. Pears. Matthew with one T. Never trust a Matthew with one T. There's something suspicious there. Second take every 90... To be fair, we could do with one. I feel like our current board are just kind of phoning it in now. Was it a start? Was it a start? It was not. Daddy, I'm so sorry. I love. He's gone to Birmingham City now, and he's still not made a start. It's you are how old now? Twenty eight years old, still has yet to start a league match in his career. Oh dear! I thought the Birmingham City, but it's also November as well, which means there has been opportunities for you to play. I always kind of hope that you don't get one now, just because the, the 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 incredible stat that that would be. Orlando shirt. Yeah, see, for me, I don't like that. I don't like the design of it. I think it's cool, that element of things, but I feel like there's better ways to incorporate it. Like Telly Alley. <laughs> right. Wait, surely that isn't the team that you want to put out. Oh, it is. Uh, Vida and Palacio. Freitas is back, at least. Paez is... Why on earth would we start Paez? Yeah, Rojas can start. Laugh to me. Yeah, exactly. He's the devil's friend. So if nothing else, just don't start any more games and you'll keep it. Bro would be on the bench for his own testimonial. Right, Freitas is back. So we, so we didn't actually miss a single match as far as Champions League goes. Okay. Perez needs to start playing some games so we can get his fitness levels back. And I think he is a better player than... Well, I say better player than Wataru. Wataru does have 13 goals this season, in fairness. So he will definitely come on the bench. Tim Breach and not like, oh, what a guy Tim is. It's because Tim's too nice. He knew that others needed a chance. I can't buy. Yeah, it just needs to move. Needs to find the right club, right? Okay, what are we saying then? Okay, this needs to be a win. It, it, there's simply no excuses. It has to be a win. Win this, and things are back on because our two games after Christmas are much easier. Uh, one of them is FC Copenhagen, who are not bad obviously but they're not amazing either and i can't remember who the other one is they're easier games in theory so making sure we win this one brings us right back into the battle and we owe them after last time too because they were one of the games i think literally the last time we played galatasaray was the last was the game that convinced me that we needed to change our tactical setup because it was when we played them and lost 3-0 in turkey and i went what the hell is this oh yeah and cole palmer's not actually going to start for them this time whereas he did last time i believe right Let's see. Better Arsenal Havertz. I don't think Havertz has done particularly badly at Arsenal, has he? Um, from what I seem to hear, Arsenal fans seem to enjoy his work output so far. He seems to have scored goals and stuff. Seems happy. I feel like he gets a bit of a bad rap for sort of no reason. Um, I'll defend you, Kai. Right. Let's see. Ah, shit. I just realised I didn't put Kona Guy in. Right. 
What went out of four? Yes, because our first three were Manchester City, Atletico, and Manchester United. Uh, so we got an extremely tough start. Luckily, we've got some slightly easier games on the... Oh, hello. Right there, Riffin. Apparently, we're not all right. That's going to be a penalty, isn't it? Wait. Oh, my God. Give us the penalty, FN. That's really irked me there. Um, also, the game's randomly started stuttering in the middle of the fucking game there. So not only do we not get the penalty, but we also miss the chance too. Hello, Bente. I have to let it progress for a second. This is an omen, isn't it? I mean, personally, I would have been surprised if that was a penalty, but usually they are penalties because it's FM. Why has it randomly started stuttering? Oh, there we go. Right, we're back. I can't believe he's missed that. That was an absolute open goal, basically. But that does make me feel like this is not going to be an easy game. And that now we're going to start playing appallingly. Right, come on, get a foot in. I am worried about Vida. He feels like he just... But that's a penalty. It's those ones that really irk me. Those random given out of nothing penalties that just sort of happen. It'll be given, they always are. I mean, what even happened? Now, Freitas has got a good penalty saving record, but... Surely he can't save another one. No, 1-0 Galatasaray. Fuck me. What a ridiculous start to the game. So we should have had a penalty, should have scored, and now we get given that against us. Somehow our one was even more of a penalty than that. Ah, oh, Christ. Right, work to do. First shot of the game. Oh, this is kind of concerning, though, because this game is a must win. Because it takes us to six points. It then means that it's a case of those two games after Christmas, which hopefully takes us to 12, and then it's all dandy. Um, unless we get some a lucky result against... Uh, fuck, who are we playing? There's one other team. It might be PSG, though, so good luck. I still think we've got enough on our plate tonight to create like at least two 2.5 XG. So provided there's enough goals out of that. But it's also the type of game where we miss every chance, isn't it? But no, no. Positive thoughts, I'm thinking. Right, there's Vida. This is what we want. Vida doesn't normally... He's going to shoot, isn't he? Oh, no. Padilla? Okay. Strange choices being made so far. Palacio? Quasi? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to annoy the shit out of me, this game. Need new names. Ooh. Cheese is acceptable. Ooh, um... Parmesan Belgrade is very solid. This is going in, isn't it? Okay, weird there. Ah, hey, Jun, you've come at a bad time. Uh, we've, we've, yeah, Galatasaray have scored their only shot, and it was a penalty that shouldn't have been given. Oh, please no. Right then. Okay. This is one of these games where I get the feeling that nothing we can do tactically is going to make any difference to this. literally hit their player in the face <sighs> right then good 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 we could have been one nil up in this game we had an open goal we've not actually played that well ourselves i should stress but we've not been this bad this is not good because it would pretty much put our maximum points tally at nine points fuck me man so I think it's just not clicked for us this year. I, for whatever reason, it's just not clicked. And having the injuries has certainly not helped. Uh, I don't want to make any halftime subs, but I certainly will drag Perez off pretty soon if he doesn't get his act together. Fuck. I don't think we get anything from this game. And it's going to suck. Right, here we go. Come on, a corner or something. So the reason we have these is so we can occasionally just get a bit of luck from one. Ball in, headed, saved. Okay. Why hasn't he just turned that back inside there when that would normally happen in almost every scenario in that position? But okay. Right, Quasi, both Quasi and Perez have been absolutely shocking in this game. Which means double changes. And also Padilla. Palacio's been poor. We'll get Lahovi on, even though he's a bit knackered. But hey, man has shown that he can do stuff. And Palacio's played poorly again. Oh, this is frustrating as fuck. There's me saying, oh yeah, we'll probably create like around about the 2.53 XG and it looks like we might well do that. I just hadn't anticipated us not scoring. 
um, <laughs> at all. Thing is, literally, Tuggy are just killing our coefficient every year. This one there's really little explanation for, other than it's just one of those days, really. Um, yeah, we will still score. This will almost certainly be a two-one defeat in the end. So Tello will tar us through. <laughs> Maybe we won't. Maybe we just won't score. Okay. Yeah, the fact that it's at home as well, it really does suck because we just, we haven't been able to get what we need in games. Like, I accepted that we were going to have some tougher affairs. We knew that was going to happen. And unfortunately, weren't able to do what we could in those games. But then we started to look better against the Zagreb. Got the win where we should have done. Today, we've played easily well enough to get the win. And we're going to lose 2-0. Which is really, actually, I say 2-0. There's every chance they could score a third goal too. That's what makes this even worse because they probably will then score their next chance too. Right, come on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lemon Ting Spa? I thought he'd drop that then. Ugh. Well, this should have been a win, but it's not going to be. And now we're in, we're in real danger of not qualifying for the knockouts this season. Because we've only got two more winnable matches to come after this, and that would get us to nine points, which is like the bare... Oh, look at Lahovi. Sotelo. Okay, we get one back. 10 minutes to go, Benjamin Sotelo gets one back for us. Great work from Lahovi. Like, genuinely brilliant. Look at that. The way he just sort of gets this ball, waltzes in between the defenders, finds his little drop-off pass. Great. Lovely touch from Sotelo as well to get around there. Okay. A draw would be not that good either, honestly, but better than nothing. Ah, oh, come on. One more chance. I'm going to get Kona Guy on. No, actually not. I'm going to go with Markovic because he's slightly better attacking. Even though he's going to play as a ball midfielder, but he is slightly better going forward than Kona Guy is. Imagine if we turn this around to win. I weirdly feel like there's more chance of us conceding a random third goal than there is of us actually winning this. But we will see. We'll give it a chance. Good from Kadri, loses the ball. Oh, that's a shame. Right, come on. Right then, never mind, eh? Um, so, uh, 50 minutes of Balatro, anyone? <sighs> I hate that. He gets the block, doesn't bother to go with it again. And then it's just look, three men at the back post against one player. Like, lads, maybe track someone at all? What can we do? I'm not too, I mean, I'm, I think we've played very well. There's not much you can really do about that. Oh, dear. That is some... Classic. Fucking hell. Bellatro, yeah. <laughs> I had an absolutely mad Bellatro run the other day. I got... My best hand ever was like E31. It was brilliant. Such an insane run. I got to anti-18. Round like 55. Um, yeah, that's that's a real shitter because that has properly stuck us in, the, in it now. We basically have no... We have to win against Leon away and FC Copenhagen away. Those two are must-win games now. Unless we somehow beat Chelsea at home. Which, you never know, right? Ah, oh, dear. Did nobody bet on us to lose that game? Not surprised. Random trip to the blue screen. Yeah, in it. They've just lost to PSG, though. There's a chance. Check a deck. Yes, I've got it on Erratic deck as well now. And I'm slowly working my way towards it with the others. Because um, obviously I'm playing on the beta branch, which has got the cha the upcoming changes, which I'm, unless it's on the... It might be on the main branch now, I don't know. I don't know if there's been a proper update yet. But the new changes are much better. So yeah, I've got a gold stack on Erratic deck and... Checkered deck so far. And I'm slowly, like, stacking all the others up on the beta. Yeah, so basically... Say easier. It's just... It's less RNG punishing. Actually, no, sorry. It's not so punishing because of the whole thing with, like, the uh, packs costing twice as much and all that sort of stuff. They've changed it so you've now got perishable jokers that only last five turns. Sorry, five five rounds. And also uh, rental jokers, which cost you for having them in the... They're, they're $1 to buy, but they cost you for each round that you play them in. Uh, who are Hammer and playing? Oh, that's, that's not the right day. 
So it, it's not so much that it makes it easier, but it makes it a little bit less punishing in the sense that it became a bit too grindy, I found. Like, I'm happy that I beat the gold stake with two on the previous version because it was nice to have done that, but I'm glad they're changing it. They've also nerfed some of the jokers. Nerfed and buffed some of the jokers. So now things like Bloodstone is now one in two instead of one in three, which is mad. So a Bloodstone build now absolutely goes off. Things like Stuntman are now not as um overpowered either. It's only like 250 chips now. Uh, right, Hammerin. R08 Rangers. Good luck, lads. There's no way Hammerin are qualifying. Then again, if they were to beat Rangers, they probably would actually go to the top, but they're not going to, are they? We just know they won't. I'm actually amazed they've got any results so far. Then again, when we looked at Hammerin's fixtures, weren't we once basically saying like, oh, this looks more like a... Whoa. Maxim Koloznik. Ah, oh, if you had jumping reach, man. But yeah, I'd say it's definitely more fun. I mean, I'm obsessed with the damn thing. Although there was like a... There was a tester trailer thing. You look, Slay the Spire 2 and Hades 2. There's good shit coming. It's still going to take a lot to pry me away from Balatra, though. I've got to be honest. That is my jam. And I haven't even started on using mods yet. I want to make sure I complete everything before I start using mods. Because I know I'm going to want to. Because there's already so much cool stuff. Ah, uh, it's Hammer and Loose 3, not a Rangers. Shocker. Uh, club regens play for a team right now. As in, like, guys that came through at, ham at Sirens. None. They're, they're just not good enough. The best player that's ever come through at Sirens is Matthew Side. And as good as he is, and I think he's decent, would not get anywhere near our team. I say he wouldn't get near. He, nah, he wouldn't. So he's actually got okay stamina and work rate. He could actually do a job as a BWM for us, but there's no point because we've got better players than him. And yeah, so he's the best player we've ever produced like domestically. But I, I would be very, very surprised if anyone comes through our youth intake in this save who is good enough to actually play for us. Do we work out what we signed? No, we didn't. Still no nose. Uh, man actually can't speak. He's got a, a long-term throat infection, some say. More please. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was bloody three and a half, four and a half a minute ago. But hey, if he's continued to improve, that's what I care about. But disappointed in that. Did Fleming score? Ah, that is your problem. I feel like we've signed quite a lot of players from um, Jaliba in this save, which is good. Star player in the league, which is a good sign. It shows you that the league is strengthening. Well, I suppose. It shows that he's certainly getting better, right? Which I suppose is something. Uh, Vita Club. No. Players to train better. Um, You need the right training setup. So I use RDF's training schedules, but it's not solely about that. It's also about not overworking them. Um, Also, some players are just going to train poorly if they're like upset at you for any reason. Some players just have personalities, which means they're not going to train well. There's nothing worse than having a player that looks like they've got really high potential and then having them have an absolutely god-awful personality, which means that they're never going to get a good training rating. And it'll be very, they'll, they're probably unlikely to reach that potential as a result of it. Right, I want to see if we've actually got any... They've got not got a single in-progress goalkeeper. Not one. Like, just do something. The old two determination. Oh, God, yeah. I feel like you can still turn them into some quite decent players, but it does take a lot. Always drops to four point. That's really, really low. Um, Does it say why? Because it usually will tell you. Like, if you go into, like, their training happiness and stuff, it will usually tell you why they're training so poorly, particularly if it's that poor. That There's usually a reason for that. Still ongoing. Oh, yeah, we've set up a literal recruitment focus to try and find him, just in case. Uh, hence why it's called Hadrian's Wally. Thanks to the chat, obviously. My, my original name was The Masked Keeper, but yeah. Edric, a bookmark, um, so that we can show him off, except he's retired now, so he doesn't do anything. <laughs> and it wasn't even Edric anyway. Oh, dear. I would say that, yeah, 4.85 is very low, though. Like, extremely low. Right. Quasi's back, and he honestly needs to just play a little bit. But I'm going to give this to Roy. Actually, no, I'll give this to Perez, because he needs football, basically. I wonder if his lack of match shot is actually what cost us. I might give Lohovoy a run out here as well. Maybe Krastev, and then obviously uh, Gert as well. Upset. yeah you're right so the first thing i would say is to check if he's got 
role assignment as well as a so basically does he have a positional duty training as well as additional focus because if you've got both of those i find that's the first way that they will get overworked and upset about it secondly i would just randomly reshuffle your coaches i, I do it from time to time as like housekeeping if anything whenever my players can play it i'll just go into training go to coaches go to here and then just hit ask assistant to assign he'll randomly shuffle them around for some reason even though they probably have the same attributes as the last time i asked and it does seem to stop them complaining for a little while which improves their uh training rating something as well is criticize them yell at them about it and set them a target of like 7.1 particularly when they're playing they're training really badly i find that sometimes they won't meet it but then you get no downside to it but a lot of the time they will actually end up going to meet it which is pretty dope quasi scores perez got a 6.3 what's happened to him i did not realize there were any more clauses to pay there but we take that uh tr as for trophies we've only won domestic trophies so far which is just leagues basically and some cups in there which we're not super concerned about uh okay haven't won anything on a european scale yet i bloody hope that he hasn't forfarded himself I his attributes are surely too good for that to be the case he's just he was slightly injury prone and we got a full season out of him without any injuries which was surprising so i feel like this year we're kind of getting we're having to pay for the penance of that sadly that's true yeah because you could like secure their future or something if they train if you, there's like a promise that you will secure their future at the club if they train better most of the time they just won't train better so you can kind of keep them on the lower contracts doing that too you're right okay so there's chelsea uh richard obviously got to play a few games biting so well yeah uh Right, so full strength team against St. Leia. Rest for the next one. Maybe we could do something against Chelsea. I don't know. I think this year it's just... Wait, what? Extra funds available? We've... Okay. So our transfer budget... They just dumped a random extra three. I mean, I'm not going to say no. It's just really random. Because our position wasn't that much better than it was before. We've actually been at various other stages this season in a better financial position as it goes. You're right. It must have, like, we've hit certain goal for a certain point of the year or something. If, you're, if you've got X amount of money or a percentage of map, Basically, two numbers. One number got higher than another number. <laughs> uh, decline meeting. Shandong suck. Absolutely not. True. It is only a month before the window. That's a good point how collective bonuses are that's really weird usually i find that with the bonuses you're pretty safe to keep them on the middle one that's really i don't think i've ever seen a player complain about them being on the middle usually the only time they would complain to be fair back in the day you could literally set them on the lowest setting every single time and no one would ever complain and it would save you loads of money and not only for collective win bonuses but it would give you a bigger transfer budget which is really useful at times but now if you do drop it down they will kick off but i've never seen a player complain about it being on the mid setting that's funny as fuck yeah, they know there's a goalkeeper coming. Exactly. Go out on loan. Bruv, I've been trying to get you out on loan for years, and you've always said no. So yes, obviously you can go out on loan. It's going okay, Bente. Um, unfortunately, we just lost at home against Galatasaray in a really unfortunate way. With very little we can do about it, sadly. Regular Champions League semi-final club. I guess that does make sense. From a logical standpoint, I actually understand that. Ruben, yeah. Oh yeah, this is the guy. We, every single year we look at this guy. I feel like at some point he might actually still be worth it once we're at a certain stage. Any goalkeepers? It's not going to be him, is it? No. <laughs> thought it would be worth a look. Right, same layout. We, as far as I know, James, we haven't found the goalkeeper, no. Um, I felt, Hadrian promised if I actually signed him, he would tell me. But I have not currently been told that we found him, so I don't believe I've got the guy, no. Not yet. But I'm going to... Once I've got us up to... Actually, to be fair, not even once I've got us up to speed. While I'm getting us up to the next part of the next stream off stream, I will be looking. Trust me. <laughs> You'll see me just playing FM for ages. Way longer than I would normally. But I'm not sure... Thing is... What, what's going to happen is I'm going to come back on Tuesday and be like, is it one of these guys? Because <laughs> I won't be able to... No, will I? I'll just have to find some good goalkeepers. Oh, I looked at Juan Martinez a little while ago and he's absolutely insane. Yeah, one day I just don't stream. Uh, <laughs> Act exactly like me. God, he couldn't. He's too handsome. He wouldn't be able to drop himself down to my level. Did I say... Oh, sorry, I meant... Uh, I lose track of what day it is. 
yeah i'll be in on sunday uh next sunday i won't be because that's when i'm in copenhagen but well that's not the saturday is uh but yeah we missed out yeah i mean it's impossible not to really right we'll do on oh, no, a moment's hurt henry i guess fighting the keeper maybe yeah it's a keeper hunt stream uh nunez is no we want padilla in there vega oh Christ, i totally forgot about vega that's why he's not going to start this game i might start markovic alongside gert the more football goes how's he actually developing training ratings not amazing which is surprising for a resilient player with high professionalism i might have to have a look into that i feel like he should be training better than that considering the amount of money we spent on him uh Krastev, no i'll put vida in for this one and palacio as well right cool end up finding a better one a better one how's that possible but with the price surely uh yeah that'll do i'll be happy if i just find him additional focusing uh, wait did i not have him additional oh that's probably what it is i was still training him to be a cm i need to check if he, if he was comfortable as a cm now then i can turn that off that's probably why i wasn't training as well six nil mateus Paez scores a hat trick okay tricks to roll actually do i wish i could tell you but i don't actually know all i know is it does goals and does work um i mean if you want to know what it does the best thing you can do is literally just click on it and the game will quite literally tell you what it does but how you interpret that unfortunately is a very different question i just like the role it's almost a bit of a meme on the stream but it does seem to work a hat trick my center back there we like that right let me just check at gert I want to see if he's actually capable of playing that role yet. He's actually not, which is really annoying, but I think I'm going to get rid of that and just start training him on defensive positioning. Because that's the, the immediate thing he needs to work on is defensive positioning. We'll see if that improves his training rate. Steve Reader, thank you very much for the 13 months. How is your Thursday going? 25 like a true. Yeah, you're right, I suppose. And I wouldn't be opposed to that. Wow. Round of 16 and Pembroke are there. It does trekkie things. It Yeah basically you have goal three it was fun um i accidentally predicted so many things in that film that i wasn't expecting to although i really should have done given how predictable it was it is a wild ass film if you've not seen it uh right but, oh imagine if this guy's like 19 or something dingley going up imagine i think dingley are actually doing quite poorly this year oh no they're actually number number seven even zuri are doing okay Tarshin looked to be well Nash are the moment they've lost all their players from us naturally that's when they started doing well needed to beat them wait are they did they get through already ah they're there right huh Paris and damage sir absolutely what the hell Biff what the fuck thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs fuck Jesus Christ, I have been. Yeah, I watched Fallout over the weekend. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Like, really, really enjoyed it. We also watched The Gentleman as well. Uh, Seagrim, thank you very much for the follow. Biff. What the hell? Thank you very much, man. That's insanely nice of you. A Master Slot game relegated. Biff. <laughs> Biff, bath, buff, indeed. Oh, damn. Thank you so much, man. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, Technical University. Hello, how are you, mate? Oh, hello, Marlon Quinones. Is it him? It's not him. Although I will scout him anyway for the vibes. Oh, shit, I just accidentally went past. What's he developing concerns about now? This is actually going to be him complaining about football again, isn't it? Oh, my God. Shut up. <laughs> Go every two weeks. Supposed to be an important player. Well, where is it? There we go. <laughs> At least I can say that every time, I suppose. Valde Olin Cool, thank you very much for the follow. Wasn't him. Gah. Was it not? You, you've fooled me. Lower squad says. Um, so what you do is you go into inform uh, sorry, happiness, then you go into this. Then you select the lower squad status. What is his current squad status out of interest? Um, firstly, what the fuck? <laughs> but anyway. So then you click the one you want. 
and then a thing will pop up although weirdly i can change him to anything i want here because he's a younger player but if they've got a higher one you click it and then you persuade them and then you tell i think it's the first option on the right that you pick i believe anyway solihull balls solihull balls are doing quite well in the, in the national league this season are they not becoming the murder homer she was great okie dokie <laughs> So, just to clarify, his agreed playing time is breakthrough prospect. His expected playing time is important player. What? What is the point of having a contract then? Youth team's training. Oh, I don't set up my youth team's training at all. Um, you can, but it's I honestly uh, can't be asked with the way that it's very tedious to do. So I tend to just allocate that to my assistant, pressing. generally speaking. Asher with the 30 months as well. Thank you, man. Freitas the guy who's as good as Freitas, maybe? Do you know if there's a train coming anytime soon? Oh, yeah. High mission. Sure. It is really silly, yeah, though. It but not. it's stuff like that that I find most annoying about the player dynamics in terms of, like, playing time. When you set them a certain amount of playing time that's in their contract, and if you don't meet that, they'll complain about it. But if you give them a lower playing time that is in line with their contract, and then play them better. a little bit more, they then expect to play even more than that. And it's like, you can't really win. Uh, which is frustrating. I used to change it to breakthrough. No, I don't think I did. I think he was one of those guys we were able to sign as a breakthrough prospect. I'm fairly certain on that one because it's been ages, right? Hello, who's me? How's it going, man? How is your Thursday going along? Yeah, it is funny as fuck though because so I play him a little bit more than his contract demands and therefore he then expects to play even more than the amount that I'm currently playing him, which is utterly stupid. Like I could find, I could find some logic in it if he then expected to play a bit more than his current squad status but the fact that he demands to play even more than the amount that i'm playing him which is already a lot more than he's supposed to be played <laughs> what a silly dynamic but that's almost certainly the reason it's because he probably has high ambition and it's because i'm playing him loads i guess it's to stop you doing things like we do right this is i know exactly came out kids these days don't know the born imagine if the goalkeeper was owen hadrian and there he is in all his glory. He's rubbish, but he's there. Playoff. Oh, is it really? I'd like to see Solihull up, just because I think they've got an interesting badge. Interesting, you're not the first person to say that. I feel like that's a definite um, sentiment that I've seen a lot more lately. But he shouldn't exist. Why does he exist? Have you been messing with the referees? <laughs> oh, dear. Coefficient, it's not great, I'll be honest with you. Um, we've had some really poor results. For both us and for Hamrun, that's really cost us, sadly. With limited to what we can really do about it, because unfortunately the result that we got, we didn't deserve. It's just one of those things. The only hope we've got really is that we could get a bit of luck against Chelsea. Oh, right. Accidentally. Oh, I see. General accidentally added to the name port. Oh, that's funny as fuck. The Maltese rather than English. Oh, I, I get it. Right, yeah. The minute you choose the option that you're interested in, they get added to your shortlist. Yeah, it's really annoying, Stewie, and I wish you could turn it off because I find it very frustrating that you just end up with all these players randomly on a shortlist that you don't want. Even worse, hurt for the next five years. Uh, well, every, every year will hurt or benefit for the next five years. But also, I still think we do okay coefficient this year, provided we get the results after Christmas. But the thing is, I don't think we've done a lot wrong, uh, truthfully. Like, we played well against... Galatasaray, we can't really help if the game's going to give penalties for stuff like that. It's And our players are going to miss all their chances, really. Yeah. And then we just didn't get the breaks in the other games. That being said, we didn't look great in those games, which is a bit of a worry. Though we didn't really look up for it the same way we were last year. Meant to a hundred in a youth deck, maybe. No, the stars, I think it's because the stars now take into account things like form as well. Mental Brian. Mental Pog at Man City. I can't wait for Mental Pog. She's in my head. But I also think we haven't been as consistent in terms of our squad this year either because of all the injuries. We've just never been able to go... Wait, did I accidentally do... Oh, I didn't play Padilla. Was he off the bench? I hope so. Fuck. I accidentally started Padilla in that game. Pog is at work, yeah. Ah, that was a mistake. Hopefully we'll be able to play. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, all right. Well. Oh, for God's sake. 
<laughs> I won't obviously actually sell him. But, like, he's not as good as Perez. Although, admittedly, this season has played fairly well. I should have just promised him games. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, they're at least quite good bids. Which is something. Hey, look, chat. It's a youth intake preview. Wow. Hey, Hadrian, is it is it the goalkeeper from this year's youth intake? Is he the absolute god of goalkeepers? I don't think we're going to get a single youth intake that's not considered an E for the rest of this save now. I think we've had our... And not only that, I don't think we're going to have a single youth intake where every single player isn't considered an E. They're always going to be E's now. Much worse than mine was. God damn it. I want your version of the save. Alexis arse there. Right. Hammer and win again. Got a D rated one. Ooh. Also called Matthew. Well, of course. The only good players in Malta are all called Matthew. Such is life. Uh, that's too much weak. Cool, 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 cool. So we're actually only... But only 32% on that, which is surprisingly okay, considering Chelsea are, well, Chelsea are quite decent. We have beaten them the, in the past, but I have just no faith that that's likely to happen here. Uh, oh, wrong button. But we got it. We got to go for it. This will be the turning around of everything. Boca Juniors have just made a bid for, what? Boca would 11, I mean, no way, obviously. Right. Pogon. They sometimes do produce a couple of... Oh, hello. In fact, it's so good that he's already gone straight... Ooh, okay. May not have the ceiling, though. Two five-stars in a row in my tram base. Oh, my life. There's just... Even, to be fair, was Janosch even... No, he was, wasn't he? Janosch was five-star potential when he came in at MTK. He isn't the goalkeeper either. <laughs> Any thoughts? Um, fair play. I mean... It's one of those things that's happened, right? Like, City looked like they played quite well against Real Madrid yesterday, from what I can see stats-wise, but if you don't score, you don't win, right? Uh, Padilla, there's no way in a billion years Padilla is starting this game. Which means... It's going to have to be Kamga and then Kona Guy. Youth national team scouting. Uh, no, uh, I don't. Because I find that you just end up filtering through way too many players that aren't up to scratch. Oh, do I? No, I can't start Krastev here, can I? Because of the uh, fitness levels. Payas, Casari, Espino, Fletas is back in. At least the goalkeeper's now fresh again. Magnificent performance on Monday. <laughs> yeah, what was that about? Like, finally all that XG debt has caught up. Right. Perez needs to step it up a little bit. We just need to step it up a little bit. I know it's going to be tough against a team like Chelsea, who are obviously stacked out the wazoo. They've got Swanina in goal. Oh, I do not, I like that for him. I like that Gabriel Swalina, sorry, Swanina is actually starting in goal for Chelsea. That was pretty sick. Has been for a while as well. They've got any real players. So they've got Levi Cowell in there. Dan Strong, obviously. Florian Veltz. Ha. Huh. Dan Strong's going to score against us, isn't he? I just want us to show something. No way he gets the... I still think Liverpool... I reckon Liverpool will go through. I just have this weird feeling that they're going to do something absolutely mad. And win like 6 0 or something. Like, not even close. Be like 4 0 up at half time. Just have a. This is the sort of thing I should probably put a bet on. Because every time I have these theories, I feel like they come in a lot more often than they don't. And I'm not doing anything with it. Right. Pochettino still in charge of Chelsea. Lots more younger players in this squad, though. Here's a good head. But, you know, it only takes one long range banger to randomly go in to set the ball rolling. Who's that one? No, I mean, hey. I'm curious. Then again, if Liverpool defend as badly as they did in the first leg, then Atalanta will score seven themselves. It was actually crazy. Because Liverpool seem to create a lot of chances. Um, yeah, literally, it'll all catch up with them. It feels like... Um, I, was, I can't remember which podcast I was listening to. I think it was full of us this morning talking about the game against Liverpool this weekend. About, it almost feels like Liverpool have got profligate ever since a lot of their big names have come back into the team. Right. Okay, 20 minutes in. Boring from us, but not bad. Nah, shit. <laughs> I say that, and now we'll get a red card in a minute. Come on, there's loads of you around him. Oh. Ball tackled straight back to the player. Right. Okay. <sighs> copy-paste statement about you're playing a better side than you in Europe. 
But how does no one get the ball off of him here? This is a lovely little touch around the side. Oh, keeper's even covered his angle quite well there. Right. Chelsea score their first shot. Um, but it's okay. We've got time. We haven't looked quite so overawed as we have against some of the other big sides lately. Palacio. Oh, as if that's not gone in. Cleared off the line. That went all the way through and somehow doesn't go in the back of the net. Ay, ay, ay. Quasi's ball in. Cleared away. Uh, nobody bothers to try and track that. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Ooh, we've just not had the lucks of the draw. Quasi! Holy, what a strike. That's that's a leveler. What a goal. Sirens won, Chelsea won, deserved. Holy shit. I thought that the other player was going to take that ball off of him there and it was going to be given offside. Also, we've second faced someone. What a hit. Who is this with the pass? With Palacio, look at that. Bang. Right foot in off the crossbar. That makes it so much sweeter that it's hit the bar and in. Right, one all. Good stuff. Half an hour into this game, I'd say we're well in it. Playing some good stuff, creating chances, ironically. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> Heard you were doing well there, FM. Uh, wouldn't want you to accidentally have some kind of luck, now would you? That's going to be... He's barely going to play a game this season, is he? We might just have to commit to Henry for the time being. Stand with no one in it. Um, I believe... I think it's because we have a seating capacity and a capacity. And our seating capacity is a lot lower than our actual max capacity. Because I think there's like a maximum you can have in terms of seats. So for example, yeah. So we've only got 7,000 people. But our stadium now holds, I think, 12. But the other five are standing. And I don't believe we're allowed standing in the Champions League. So that's the reason there's this giant stand. You think they would have just built a new one. But no. One day we'll get a new stand. Sorry, new stadium. But I've not actually tried to see about building a new stadium because people have said that they get constantly get blocked by the council in their versions of the Sirene save. And obviously I've not had that problem because we've never had a, an opportunity to build a new stadium. It's always been on us. It's always been on the board. What well, is a frustrating one here? Something absolutely awful. Yeah. I don't know how much better a looking unity though. Um, I still feel like we randomly lose this, and that's a shame. Feed has been shocking again. At least Palacio's had a good time. I'm wondering if we've got to start start Krastev from now on. I'm just not feeling it with Vida lately. Like he scores some goals, but I feel like he's not doing what he's actually supposed to be there. <laughs> like a lot of the time, it feels like he's not creating the chances, whereas that is kind of the whole point of him. I was going to get Markovic on because he can do an okay job from a. I think he's got okay passing, doesn't he? 15 passing, okay vision, but he can also tackle a little bit. Well, see, I know! Oh no, Melbourne's injured. So, Melbourne's a good backup, but he's he's unfortunately injured. Short free kicks. Uh, it's... Uh, free kicks. If you do exclamation mark set pieces, you can actually download the free kick setup that I use. Um... I've, is that because it's the guy there is technically injured <laughs> okay regardless uh wait no i don't want to discard all my changes just that one okay half an hour a few little tweaks get crashed on for a little bit see what can happen it might be but i think a lot of people are getting that oh my god mateus paez 2-1 sirenes come on get in that's huge we finally scored a set piece goal as well and it's paez yeah so it might be uh burnt effigy however People were getting it before they'd even actually had a stadium built at all. What a cross from Quasi. There's three players challenging Mateus Paez there, and he still managed to get the header in. 2-1 Sirens, we lead Chelsea. This will probably still not go our way, but this could change everything for our season if we were to get a result here. It would suddenly give us a much better chance of qualifying. It would make up for the... Oh, no. It would make up for the horrendous result against Galatasaray. But we will no doubt just concede a random stupid penalty any minute now. Vera. Great tackle from the guy. Are you shitting me? If this is given... Thank you. What a fucking... L Firstly, that wasn't even a foul. That's insanity. But do you remember the last time we thought that wasn't going to be given? And it was against Ludogorets in the qualifiers last year? Or the year before, in fact. We It actually was given. Right. It's five minutes to go, which means tempo drop, one notch on that, set pieces notch. Right, cool. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, 90 minutes. Tempo down one more. 
time wasting up to the max short passing lowest tempo possible three minutes of stoppage time do it no oh i'm curious to know what tweaks she makes mccullough um because obviously it may not work with the players we've got but i'm always curious about people that have had success with the same tactic but just made their own little you know additions to it nunez come on please just be a random chance for us when nothing happens no fuck we know what this is going oh wait do we I hate that this is a really long highlight because it feels like a goal is coming and I'm really concerned that it's not going to be us. Knock it down, please. Just don't overdo it. Says team overdoing it. <laughs> Mini Akelvo, thank you very much for the follow. Mentality shift. Uh, no. I tend not to touch the mentalities. Because... Actually, I don't really know why. Because mentalities... I guess... Basically, I've never noticed any difference when doing it, so I tend not to. Whereas I feel like what I do just seems to work, generally speaking. Um, we've won. We've beaten Chelsea. And I would say, just about, if a team was deserving of the win, it was us. It's nice to see us actually step in a little bit. I'm sure we can still get these kind of results. I think we've maybe just been a bit unlucky in some other games. Great result. That's absolutely massive for us. What skin? It is a Saz24. If you do exclamation mark skin in chat, you'll get like a download link and a video about it and all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, I feel like it's the... Would I have... The, the now annoying thing is we should have beaten Galatasaray and we should be sat like comfortable here but i think we've got enough now to qualify fairly comfortable it means that if we say drew against leon or fc copenhagen we'll probably still get through yes yeah, so we've got leon and fc copenhagen as our last two three weeks not the end of the world particularly as we've got no more games until after christmas as far as uh half back and libero interesting okay what do you use instead of the ball in midfielder because i found that that's been really one of the most successful parts of this tactic but I I'm, I'm always curious so what does that do for coefficient 5.1 it's tough because of the um the extra dilution combined with the lack of other multi sides really helping us uh those will be next stream because those aren't till like late january um so we'll go for a little bit longer sorry i'm, I'm still quite under the weather i think i've done all right to get through as far as i have today i was worried when i started streaming today that i would just have to like stop after like an hour or so but i'm i'm feeling okay i don't sound it yes the hammer there is a hammer in europe um, but they're in the Europa League, which is very frustrating. <laughs> really frustrating. <sighs> that sucks for him, but he's not that important to us. <laughs> and also, don't forget, I've got to get a head start on the goalkeeping hunt that will definitely not end in tears. Oh, this guy. So this guy was a uh, a recruitment focus. Cool. They have got two points so far. They've got two draws. Um, unfortunately, they also got hammered 4-0 at home by Dinamo Batumi. I've tried my best, Dewey. Uh, I don't think I've been quite as high energy as normal because mainly because speaking of that because my throat is starting to kill me uh, and I just you know when you, you're ill and you just get like that general malaise in your head and everything just feels really lethargic and it's that's how I've been kind of feeling at the moment I'm hoping by Sunday I'll start to feel a little bit better I'm only taking two puffs instead of five because you're only supposed to take that ten times a day max so I'm taking much smaller doses slightly more frequently it probably doesn't help but I'm microdosing on Corvonia chat. Man does drugs on stream. Did Hammer actually play there? Oh no, here we go. So who are they playing? Ghent. Ooh, tough. It would have been so much. This season would have gone a lot better for us. Were Hammer to have been in the Conference League? Really? It's. It's tough. They will. Let me just remove the camera that's pointed solely at my ass. Uh, Florin Stand, great name any beatable team they have in theory quite a lot of beatable teams but it seems that because they're in the europa league they just don't seem to get really good results if they were playing against the number two me in the conference league that would clapped them but they beat they lost four nil at home to them in the europa league it's very strange just hard Cavonia. oh yeah i take my neat oh, oh yes well played lads Ham thoroughly deserved win against ghent in belgium hammer and two get one great result and it still gives Hammer a chance to qualify. That's massive. They could still do it. Great points for us. Box to box. Interesting. No, it's not boring. Like, at the end of the day, if it works for your tactic, then it's not boring at all. It's brilliant. Not every tactic needs to have loads of Trequartistas in it. I'm just a bit <laughs> of an idiot. So actually, speaking of the Europa League, how's that look now? Yes, yeah, suddenly they're on the outskirts of it. But who are their last two games against? Better prize money. Not really, no. Uh... The prize money's minimal. Put it this way. You get maybe a million and a half more prize money for being in the Europa League 
than you do in the conference league but then in the conference league you'll most likely win more matches which means you almost certainly make up the difference in prize money through that but what you do get is a chance to win games which gives you coefficient points also hammer and have 17 million in the bank already so that prize money is not really that important right now i'd much prefer them to be in a lower one screen flow uh one second but like yeah sorry i was gonna check their is uh their new the last two games wasn't i please tell me they're at home young boys at home and midland away that's not easy I can still see them randomly winning one of those. And eight points might be enough. Probably won't be, though. So, yeah, as for screen flows, go to preferences. Just type in the word screen. And it's here. And then what you do is you just pick the competition or whatever you want to show. Uh, so, I don't know, uh, South America, this thing here. Profile on match day, morning or evening. I always do evening. So, it, actually, with these, I do it for both morning and evening so we know what's happening. Um, and then you hit confirm. Make sure you hit confirm, otherwise it won't add it. Yeah, young boys are very, very good in this save, though. They have some insane players. Three halfbacks to be the bearers and try it in Europe. Yeah, which I believe we did. Did we not try? Yeah, we did, didn't we? With the um the house that memes built. That had that, didn't it? It's just pure silliness. Look with Al Shabab. Well, he's not going anywhere at the moment, particularly because we've got that injury. Uh, but I'm going to see how much we can bid him up. Coefficient. Uh, oh, yeah, good point. So 5.5 now. So remember, it's 0.4 for a win. It's still not great in the grand scheme. It's sort of like just about top 20 there. But luckily, I mean, actually, as it happens. Yeah, we're probably going to end up losing coefficient points this season. But there's really not a lot we can do. And next year is going to be even worse. It's just, we just need the other teams to fucking step up. We've proven that Hamrod are capable of beating uh, 8.5 million is absolute shite. I still probably wouldn't sell him for that. I feel like we could bump him up way worse than that. Way worse? Way more. Uh, ooh, very good. Okay. Oh, dear. It was fun and dumb. And you know we love fun and dumb tactics around here. And I definitely will not be... Refu I certainly will be continuing to do those. Uh, ooh, Bojang set for move to Tarshin. Love the name. Ibrima Bojang. Gambian Maltese goalkeeper. Is this the goalkeeper? Hadrian, is this the goalkeeper? Is it Ibrima Mojang? Bojang. Mr. Bojangles. <sighs> God. Every time. It's because we got... It feels like we get loads of injuries, but it's actually just because we have so many players that it just looks like we get loads of injuries. I mean, I suppose in terms of quantity, our injuries are fairly high, but per capita, it's not as bad. It is not. Ah, damn it. Done something. Ooh. Oh, was this... Yes, no, I think I have seen this. Yes. So it can be done, chat. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to 2058 during the course of this save, which is concerning. But the point is, you've proven right. Was this using our database? Uh, I assume it must be, right? Um, was it with the original one? Not that that really matters anymore. Uh, either way, congratulations. That's fucking superb. Um, fair enough. You've done my dream. Any chance of a goal? They have literally... Not found a single player, even on in progress for this one yet. I think we need to bin the Freitas bit and just find goalkeepers because for whatever reason they are not finding a single guy who's even lookable I, I feel like it's one of these things where yet again it's just a thing that's there and it's kind of meaningless hello flute uh, <coughs> how are you man Stay nerd to else. no way that's awesome oh we've the exact same database even better does the find similar stuff? Yeah, the same stuff that doesn't work is what it does, and that's that's silly, in it. Uh, anyone new? No. Yeah, we'll try with just a more default one. Sign more scouts to it. I don't believe you can, but I don't think it's about the quantity of scouts. I think it's just that because it's a find similar thing, unless the goalkeeper actually has the same attributes, and they know the attribute, I bet it doesn't include it. So it's not going to include it if it's in the range and stuff like that. That's where it starts to really fall down. I find this feels like a good day for Roy to start. And uh, Lahovi and my boy. Uh, oh, you can just... Okay. I don't know if I want to, but it's good to know that you can. I think I'd rather them still focus on the other thing. I think we'd have a better... I'd be very amazed if we find this that goalkeeper through that and not just me neurotically looking through goalkeepers for the next three hours after stream. Whack a podcast in. I would say get a Bepis, but sadly not. <laughs> And just do that. That's going to be my plan. I will share my findings in Discord if I do find any guys that look kind of maybe like they could be the one. Actually, an agent offer. 
Wow. So we might just get him randomly as an agent offer. Uh, yeah, I'm erotically looking. It's the same as normal looking, but with my pants down. Oh, God, I said that as we got raided. <laughs> Bust the net! Dalji, Dalji's friends, welcome aboard. I definitely don't have my pants down, I promise. Look, trousers are up. It's all good. <laughs> welcome aboard, friends. Oh, dear, how was stream? Uh, did he just... Three more assists for Lahovi. Um, also, five goals for Gonzalez. Lahovi has got 12 assists this season already. Oh. If I had the, the nerve, I'd retrain and put one on the right, but... There's a convenient leg tattoos. Yeah, they've just got I've got like blackout tattoos for my entire legs. Wait, five star PA now? Did you just, wait? Was it five star? Holy shit! It is. From stream today, he's gone from three star, four star to three and a half star, four and a half star, back down to three star, four star, and now it's four star, five star. Uh, now you no longer delete recruitment focus 15 15 etc uh no because it's just you can do that and it probably will help but it's tedious trying to do that every week basically he might be getting there to the point where i do wonder if retraining him on the right could work basically new tactic oh i could do one of those at the moment frankly actually i say that we did just beat chelsea so am i that bothered but that galatasaray result is really stuck in my craw i'm really glad we got that chelsea result though because it made me go oh right no we can still beat big sides with this and actually play well it's just we've just had some poor luck with all the other stuff going on and the injuries i feel like i'm a bit worried about paris though yeah Dick <laughs> dick's got into the computer system that's what it is all boys under 20 so he was an agent offer so like a normal agent offer not like a deadline day agent offer wait what oh lads that's a shame camga's obviously going to be on my side immediately oh wow everyone except vida vida buddy you're hanging by a thread here bro don't mess with me or i will just remove you hammer in real danger of not coming second this season an agent offer okay i'm gonna have to really pay attention to our uh scout reports when we get them because obviously i have the agent offer still turned on or oh. four million how much did we pay for Finn? for 3.6? I reckon we could bid him up. Although at the moment, I'm genuinely worried. Made to move on Melbourne. I know. The concern is... Wait. Doodoo. Oh, it's a different... Sorry, I get confused. We've got, do... We've got Dada Doodoo, and I'm looking at that Duda guy. Uh, yeah, I'd love to get him out on loan. I am trying to, right? That's why he's set to zero value. Uh, so I'm more than happy to do that. But yeah, with Melbourne... You're right, he might just end up leaving. It just gives us a little bit less depth in that role. But we do have Padilla, who's kind of become a starter, though. Huh. Then again, we'll have some guys that are slowly going to hopefully come through. Maybe we can find someone who isn't. A oh, no, I want to keep this guy on the list, actually. Because I'm still kind of intrigued by him. For the time being, anyway. The Shamrock wrote, yeah, we'll get... What's his name? Is it Donnelly or Connolly? Brenner, Brenner, and Brunner. <laughs> we, had, we had a Breno... And we also had Bremer in this save. It, albeit he was rubbish. Although I wonder if he was rubbish. And actually it was just me. Oh, yeah. That's just the uh, that ridiculous striker that I'm not entirely sure if he's actually good or not. But I'd probably still sign him quite cheap to find out. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, he looks good, but I don't know what he would be. Hello, holy cow. My first time I was born within the way. Oh, that's amazing, man. Congratulations in advance. Uh, Jeff, uh, X Reapin, thank you very much for the follow. Anyone? See if there's any goalkeepers in it. Holy Christ. Wait, Argentinos Ju. He's not a huge money, sadly. Ah. Uh, I mean, he's fantastic. But the amount of money he's on is absolutely low. And he'd only want more from us, wouldn't he? Oh. Oh. My God. Chat, it'd be rude not to. <laughs> it'd be rude not to. Sign Jorge Barbosa on a free transfer for like 15k a week. Yeah, obviously we do that, right? Holy shit. I thought he'd want like, because he's out of contract. I thought he'd want even more wages. Yeah, we 100% do that. Squad player, absolutely fine. Not playing you as a wide centre back though. Sorry, bud. 14 grand a week. You've got caps. No, you're Argentinian. You might not do. Oh my God, he doesn't have Argentinian caps. 
Argentina caps? He doesn't have Argentina caps. And he's not going to declare for Malta or anything. Absolute done deal. You better Safa. Safa. What the... The Moroccan dude. From the very start of the stream. Oh, Safa. Sorry, I thought you meant... Sorry, there was literally a guy we found earlier called Safa. Oh, no, his name was Safa... Safuan. No. Safuan, wasn't it? Yeah. That's insane. What a pickup. Was that... That must be an agent offer, right? Because I wouldn't have randomly scouted a 28-year-old. Unless I did accidentally, but that seems unlike me. Uh, I'm just going to sort by... He's 27, but he's the guy we looked at earlier, isn't he? These guys are all old and want huge money. He was Bafana Bafana. Maybe he was Bolivian. Oh, oh if he was Bhutanese. You know, nah, if he was Bhutanese, you wouldn't have been able to resist telling me. This guy's quite... I still want to keep scouting this guy. Oh, this isn't where I I'm not sure. I don't car. think it's him. He's 27. I think that's unlikely to be him, but still. There's stack colors. Yes, there is. Um, we slow. Thank you very much for the follow. The way you change stack colors is... If you go into... Up in here, go into skin... And they go to skin colors. You can change the colors of the attributes as well as all this other stuff in here as well. To your heart's content. So yes, there is an I. Ooh. This is Takashi Aoki. He's pretty decent. But I'm just not sure it is him. I like him though. Inigo Perez. What about Inter? 21 million pounds. I guess they do, but I feel like I would have had to have scouted their first team, and I don't remember doing that. Uh, Ruben Yanez, you we get all the time. Jake Cronin, there's a goalkeeper here. Ah, this is that backup goalkeeper at, um, we know it's not this guy. That much we do know. Franco Kid or Shid. He's pretty good as well, isn't he? Jesus. It's actually kind of crazy that he's derated. Jibril Fall. Ah, you're right. Oh, this is all the goalkeepers coming through now, which is fun. Uh, Carver Hal. Who are you wanted by? Oh. Wait, you're a winger, but you're a wing back too. I might be one of the guys we were looking at before. Uh, yeah, we played the Chelsea game. We've won that. Yeah, so it's a mystery goalkeeper we're looking for, Asher. Uh, it's basically the masked keeper. Yeah, it's definitely not him. Like, he's okay, but it, it's definitely not him. Uh, Montevais is insane, but it's not him because he's too expensive. But I'm going to keep scouting under it because he's really good. What about Jibby? Juve want Jibby will fall. He's pretty good as well, isn't he? Christ. Yeah, we were unlucky to lose to Galatasaray. Um, they got a dodgy penalty. And then, yeah, it was just one of those games, unfortunately. Virto. Ferreverto. Uh, Jibby is intriguing. Oh, Christ. But I feel like... I don't think it is Jibby. I feel like it's somewhere a bit more out of... Out there than... Than Malma. Uh, these guys are way too expensive. God, that guy's very expensive for Slovatsko. Uh, right. Let me just... Get rid of this... Apps. Who are you? Why are you on here? I get rid of you... Send the rest of these round again. Is you a goalkeeper as well? Oh, hello. Hang on a minute. Nah. Ah. Oh. Right. Hadrian's expecting me to message him after stream. Be like, please tell me. But I have dignity. I would never drop to such a, a low ebb. Also, if it's an agent offer, it means he's going to be... We'll have full scouting knowledge of him. Or at least fairly good scouting knowledge of him. Because when you get agent offers, they bring you the knowledge for you. So that's... If we tomorrow instead... You, yeah. <laughs> I like that guy. But he's not for now. He's for later. Right, I need to do some lookups before we get our... Oh, before we get ourselves going. Yeah, the Scamrock Rovers guy. I think it was... It was either Donnelly or Connolly or something like that. Or... Oh, They haven't. No, it's Jason Donnelly. That's it. Donnelly. That's the guy. They're not hard set. True. But what I mean is, if it does come through, we will have good scouting knowledge of him because when an agent offer comes through, you're pretty much guaranteed, I believe, to have extensive knowledge of the player as a result of that. So we'll know... 
we won't have to like go ah it eliminates any player that we don't know about unless it's a guy i scout but then he comes through as an agent offer or maybe the act of scouting him removes that potential ah that's frustrating man uh sheldrup uh who is at arsenal and absolutely killing it actually they spent a lot of money on him isn't this fun oh god i am <laughs> i'm gonna be kept up at night you're gonna make me ill i'm i'm poorly <laughs> i'm using all the tricks i've got here chat help me so yeah under a shell drop was a Benfica for a while, for a very long while, playing a lot. 20 goals that season. No assist at all, which is crazy considering... I guess they must have just been playing it pure through the middle in order to not get any assists and to get 20 goals. £33 million pounds to Arsenal, and they basically don't play him. This is a career resurrection if I've ever seen one. He's made a grand total of one start for Arsenal in three and a half years. Why did they got to go and ruin fun players? Ah, you hate to bloody see it. So, me... I feel like I haven't seen as much auto save as I would like. So I'll save that there. Move over. Uh, obviously, today is not a day where I'm going to be able to go any longer than my normal one. Just because I am absolutely, like, dead right now. It's actually crazy how tired I feel. Uh, let's... Who are we going to do? It would be silly not to do Gav now, wouldn't it? Particularly as he does football bingo. I'm going to start bringing that to our streams, I feel like. I like the football bingo thing. I think it's cool maybe as a channel point reward to do. I think that would be kind of fun because it is really fun. I always play it whenever I raid over. <laughs> so, yes, I'll be back on um, Sunday. I see no reason why I'll be feeling any worse. I should be feeling better by Sunday in theory. So hopefully I'll be feeling slightly better. Hopefully I come with like a, a panel of goalkeepers to present to you, but keep an eye on the Discord because I might be putting some screenshots in there if I do see any. Uh, so yes, thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for being patient with my less energetic and more sniffy state apologies to the volleys once more i don't think i've been too bad but it's sometimes hard to tell so yes um i'll see you guys very